Hello and howdy, gamers. Welcome to the show. Hello. Everyone say hi. <laughs> I glitched myself. I was looking, I'm looking at our stream now. And yeah. so even, even muted, the fact that like the video doesn't match up with what I'm hearing through my headphones, I'm like, I'm already broken. Shattered. <laughs> Wait, um, you're, so you're watching our faces on, on the, stream the stream instead of watching our faces in the Discord call that I we're in. I wanted to see the shot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what? Good point. Good point. Uh, speaking of shots, I'm going to make Rob a little bit smaller. See, I just trust the shot. It's like, wow, J JV645 in the chat ha having a very on-topic on, on ask. Hey, everyone, I have a question. How can I get started with custom mechanical keyboards? I oh, I had, a question. I had a question before that though. Yeah, yeah what's up, Patrick? Gotta, <laughs> uh, I need you to Google how much is how much eggnog is too much eggnog. Yeah, yeah. see what the answer is. I will happily do that. Give me just one moment. You're not Eat. gonna get a real answer for this. I know, but I want to know what's proposed. I want to. What is it? What data is it scraping to tell me? Yeah, people have definitely much. argued about this at some point uh, in their lives, right? On the is internet. Is that eggnog going to make you feel sick? Here's what Can to you, look out uh, for. It's the Huffington Post. You can't even trust that. Okay, Laura. Jesus Christ. Wait, I can't see your screen, Ren. It says you're just, the host I'm is just doing Googling something else. in solidarity. Oh, <laughs> oh, I know it's wrong. I know it's wrong. I know it's wrong. Let me, yeah, let me no put, adjust my parsec setting to make this an allowed app. Approved apps. Google Chrome. Rob's still working on all the nog. Yeah, there we go. that's they a good make question. Can you log in to Quora now to see stuff? Can you see this now? Yes. Okay. Great. Thank you. All right. How uh, how what far into do... the nog did you get? Rob? Sorry, sorry. We got to go to Yahoo.com. It's a video. It begins <laughs> what with to what to do with too much eggnog. <laughs> One, upgrade your coffee. Two, make cookies. Three, sweeten up breakfast. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, eggnog French toast. I thought this person was just suggesting you at fucking like two, at fucking like 11 a.m. just chugging nog. Um, well, yum. Do you want to do a 2 a.m.? Do you want to do a 10 a.m.? No, I don't, I don't like to do it. I don't like to do egg. I don't like to do a, a nog chug at any time. I don't like eggnog. I'm, I'm not anti nog. It's uh, just not my mind. thing. That's you true. know what? You have to you have to try Rob's at some I've point. I've got <laughs> yeah. one last oh. bottle. You've got one last bottle. I've got one last bottle. Rob, could you do you think that could travel? Christ, I don't oh, know I think it could travel. Could there's there's enough there's enough booze in that that I could take it to like a testing range in the desert. We go to the salt flats and <laughs> like enjoy a frothy glass of nog. Uh, so don't don't worry. My eggnog will definitely not make you ill. I would, I would, like like Prince's famous song. I would, I would eggnog for you, so Rob. He, that was tough to hear. It was a B, it was a B side. Yeah, that's fine. That was still tough to hear. Um, I would, I would love. I would be honored to nog Patrick. I need to. I need to go lay down. Nog, Sorry. Nogging. Nah, <laughs> nah. We gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks everyone for joining us for the I keyboard would. stream. I have learned a lot you. about Dreams keyboards. Over. Baby, I'm here for you. God. Alrighty. Uh, I think. Look, I, I just watched Batman '89. I'm, a, you know, I'm in a in a Prince mood. I, you want to listen to some bad Prince songs? Listen to the Bat <laughs> the Prince's Batman soundtrack. Jesus Christ. Alrighty. That Gamers. movie's not as good as I thought. Which one? Batman '89. I watched it last year. I was like, it was good. Uh, it's got cute, it, got it, got but, it. you know. It's that movie is not as good as you remember, and Batman Returns is far weirder than you remember. Is what no, I learned I upon. Danny DeVito just takes a big chomp of somebody's nose, right? I didn't hallucinate that. He's also like throwing eight. up oil for the entire film. Good while eating fish. Good. This Great. this is good. I think. Um, let me also introduce what we're doing here today. Welcome to a coffee appears, um, which uh, I probably forgot to change the name of. Did I? I got there. I did it. I did it before. Thank you, Kato, for I saving my that. ass. <laughs> oh, that's... Oh, there we go. There's my mouse. Okay. Um, welcome to A Coffee Appears. Today, what we're doing is we're beginning a journey that we will finish on a special day, which we will discuss later. But for now, <laughs> we're beginning a journey to get Rob a mechanical keyboard. To get Rob a new keyboard, one that better suits him 
his lap, his desk. Let's not let's not <laughs> add too many <laughs> metrics to be hit, or else we'll never buy anything. No, no. Or we'll have six no, of Ren them. Ren understands there is the perfect. I understand. Ah, the it, perfect yeah. keyboard does exist. It must. It must it, there's just somewhere. twelve of them. It must suit his. Ro- <laughs> it must suit his Rob desk. His Rob lap. These things it must do. And we're going to build this keyboard from scratch, as a team, as friends. We're going to do this. And so we begin here. Searching Google for a bunch of different fucking kinds of keyboard. I would like to begin. <laughs> Wait, can we start with what Rob has? Yes. Can we set a, yeah. a baseline? Let's a baseline. Let's yeah. Let's 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 raise this up to the camera, Rob. Well, let's... <laughs> has Rob cleaned it recently? Does he want to do that? Uh, Rob, regardless of its state, raise it up to the camera. This is an ASIO. Mm-hmm. Uh, retro. Mm. I think it's a Mark II. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, it's got an old timey typewriter look. It does. It um, does. And it's got a beautiful, beautiful action. That's Can we all show that, our keyboards? That's... I feel like we should do a group, a group sure. start. A group, a group. Okay. All right. Next. I started getting distressed windows noises when I was pounding the keyboard. <laughs> Next, I would like Ricardo Contreras to reveal his keyboard to the camera. Hi, I have a DOS, DOS, Hold DOS it. keyboard. I can't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't because of the the way the cable is, is that attached. A knob? Is that a volume knob? That's a volume knob over here. Got yeah. it. Um, the important thing that about this keyboard is things that you can't really see. Uh, it allows me to press multiple buttons at the same time without seizing up, which is a thing that some keyboards do. Right. Um, and also it's got red switches, linear switches. So there's like no <sighs> click really. Like the tapping you hear is all just like. Yeah. But what it's do you just, mean the keyboard seizes up? So some keyboards don't like it when you press too many keys at the same time. Uh, yeah. Basically, they get crossed, which is why, like, for example, uh, it's a problem, especially when you're, like, doing editing stuff or playing games. Uh, okay. Because, like, if a lot you're of macros. using too, too many macros, but also if you're using a lot of, like, for example, if you were in a video game and it's not usually this low, but you are sprinting, using an ability, moving uh, diagonally and jumping at the same time. Right, your mm-hmm. keyboard kids mm-hmm. could seize up and be like, ooh, and drop one of those inputs or refuse to yeah. enter the final input in the sequence. Um, yeah. For example. Um, I forget exactly what the what, what it's called. There's like a, a specific like um, something roll, something key yeah. and, and something. N key rollover. Or other. Yeah. Oh, there we go. N key rollover. Yes. Um, uh, so, yeah. Patrick. Reveal yes. your keyboard to the stream. Okay. Uh, hold on. I need to. Well, I guess it'll make more sense when I hold it up. Um, I I was just I was given this one. I, I guess also like Kato, I can't, I probably I'm gonna have to do this because it won't. The wire yeah. won't excited work. by what we're gonna see here. <laughs> oh, uh, the lights. Oh yeah. The lights. This was this was sent. Uh, I'm sure I could turn them off. I've never researched how to do it. Don't really care that much. Um, <laughs> this was sent. To, just pulling off a hair. Woo, a, get that out of there. This is a, um, I love this. We this was oh sent to God. me uh, by. Oh, is this, I'm holding it closer. Yeah. Is, uh, that the, a, the, is that a Corsair? Uh, Joel, I I don't probably uh, Joel Fowler, our old site manager, like as part of some promotion through Waypoint or God knows what else he was up to. Uh, advice got a bunch of stuff from Razor and was like, "Would you like some of it?" And I was like, "Not really." He's like, can I send it anyway? And I said, sure. Um, so he, he sent me a bunch of Razor stuff. Um, the most useful of which was this keyboard. I never had a clicky keyboard. In fact, mm. had a, had prejudged clicky keyboards as a thing obnoxious people get because they want to hear their fingers make noises. Um, is, it, and, is it just me or Jesus do those Christ. look like chiclets? They Sorry. look very shallow. They look very shallow to me. Oh, those me. caps? Uh, they're yeah. not. Those are pudding caps. Okay. Those okay. are full size caps, but the bo- the bottom half of them is uh, shine through. So oh, so that you can get that's why it looks like that. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, they're called pudding caps. Um, I couldn't. They I couldn't should tell be because of the bl- the light. Well, right. Well, well Patrick, remove cap? one of the Patrick, remove <laughs> one of those keycaps from your keyboard. Yeah. No. Can you just pull? Nope. What? Gonna, what do you mean no? no. I'm not gonna do it. No, what? I'm not gonna it's do it, so I'm easy. Gonna, I'm just, I'm just, just no. No, it what? works just like, fine. I'm not taking it off and then like risking it not going back on. It's not, not gonna, gonna not go back on. on Patrick, no. I will take a, I will take keycaps off my keyboard right fucking now. I'll do it. Yeah, fine. but yours. I've been to do that. Patrick, Patrick hasn't done that. 
Oh. What if what if he snaps the little like stem? You will not snap the stem. You will not snap the stem. New keyboard. You will like, not. Oh, hey, oh I, my uh, god. It's a new keyboard. This is not. I, this is not a real uh, threat. Okay. Not, the thing. Gotcha. One of my favorite things about this keyboard, though, is uh uh. So I actually it turned me around. I actually you know I'm not like obsessed with clicky keyboards, but I now understand uh the aesthetic pleasure of them. But this one right. comes. You know, I need an armrest. So my my hands always feel weird and this this one does need to be replaced you can see where my wrist sits um but the reason <laughs> do you want to know why oh, i haven't done it is because this one the one that comes with it's got fucking magnets look at this thing it like it, it clicks on it feels so oh, good up wow. against the keyboard or it's the or not a chroma i'm not looking at the bottom of the keyboard that's the keyboard uh and you can get ones that are made by razor that can that do like cleanly come up next to it but they don't have the magnets. The magnets only come with the if you buy the whole keyboard oh my all God. over again. Um, and I, I actually have found like the way that lines up feels really nice uh, with uh, with my with my wrist. And so um, instead instead of getting a new thing for my wrist, which still feels good, but it's just like I can clearly you know I have eroded the top layer of the uh, the cushion. Um, this is my keyboard. People have seen it extensively. I like to show it off. Uh, this is an NK65 um, with silent clears uh, and the Astrala Keys keycaps, uh, which I have set up to be um, basically I have my like, oh, whoops, sorry, there's a thing over Patrick. Um, I have set up so that the like the buttons on the left side, um, like your your WASDA, which for me is um, A E. Oh, and a period. I, you're yes. on Dvorak. Yes, I am on Dvorak. Um, <laughs> we had this it. conversation before. Look, um, look at it. We've I done, forget we've done every yes, time. Yes, it's offensive yeah. every time. <laughs> and then I have like basically my accent keys is what I think of them as are all the different astrological signs, um, which I think Those is. Are great. Do, am I into astrology? Not really. Do I think this keyboard is extremely cute and pretty? Yes, I do. Yeah. I think um, that is the right approach fun. to have to astrology. I think you have made it. <laughs> yeah, I think it's very pretty, and I like looking at it. Um, and sometimes, like, the, the real secret to astrology um, is that you find someone who is into it, and then you just ask them, like, oh, hey, like, I'm this. What does that mean? And then they get very excited because people are asking them about astrology and they like that. And then suddenly you have an in to talk to them. Um, so, yeah. Who has the best keyboard? Well, I mean, I, th I think well, I think Chad custom has to job choose. is going to be that's unfair. That's that's a hundred percent unfair. It might, not, it might not be their it might, it might not be their their jam. And maybe everyone they like, is uh, saying and key rollover. Maybe that's cool to them. Maybe, maybe people they love the classic typewriter aesthetics. Like they yeah. maybe they love the pretty lights that have a combination of oh my keyboard's backlit cells and ha curly hair. My keyboard's backlit. I just have the um uh da, 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 da. I just have the backlighting uh, very low right now. Um, Rob, where's the lap dog? Yeah, I Rob, started, can you can you expose the lapdog to us? I can't expose the lapdog. <laughs> <laughs> and why can't you expose the lapdog to your loyal uh, audience? Well, because it'd be very hard. Okay, like I could I could just do it, but I would have to really like. Okay, people people insist. Fine. Right, but, that took you know all. What? No, 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 no. That took, to, that took, uh, that took a Rob's whole. That took a whole <laughs> three yeah. seconds. Okay, so hold on. Let me let me draw forth its uh, little cable. The chat doesn't seem to like N key rollover at all. So <laughs> everyone loves Red's keyboard. There. Big surprise. Hey, someone I'll, said they didn't like the Tumblr place. one. Which, in my defense, okay. I didn't use Tumblr. I just look like it. <laughs> okay, so, uh, camera, God, just go. Yep, there we go. Ren was birthed from Tumblr's head. Full, so, full yeah, full. I didn't, I didn't ever touch it. Like, Ooh. am I a Tumblr baddie? Yes. Jesus Christ, <laughs> Rob. Who what? doesn't love? See, this, you know, this is. Uh, this is flexibility. You have to speak up a little bit, Rob. You're a little far. <laughs> yeah. The flexibility can, of the I flexibility can and mobility. Oh, fuck. Especially of not being able to take it out and easily show it to your friends. Um, no, it's so flexible. No, no it's, it goes it's everywhere. Because, it's because the desk is in like uh, stream mode right now. There's a camera, there's cables, 
But I assure you, you know, if I were just home alone and I was like, I want to play Total War on the big screen, I could just plunk down on the couch and bring the lapdog over and play as if I was at my desk um, with the full convenience of mouse and keyboard. Woof. Uh, and the only thing, the only complication, of course, would be the enormous tripping hazard uh, cable that's stretched across the floor, menacing the dog and uh, my partner. All right. In this moment, Rob, I would like us to begin thinking through our first question. Yes. What keyboard layout would you like? And, I, and, and I'm going to have to, we're going to have to do a couple of things. So I wanna, I'm going to go, go over all of them. Yeah. All right. We're going we're gonna to step through the different kinds of keyboard that there are. Okay. The basic layouts are, da, 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 da. I'm trying to find like a good image of all of them. Here. Oh, sizes? Yeah, size, size chart. chart. Yeah, that's, that's what cool. we're looking for. Okay. Here is, we're going to go to this image. This will be a, uh, open image in new tab, please. Thank you. No, don't you want to right click and look through right. Google Lens? That I'd new rather not. shitty tool that they <laughs> rolled not. out that you have to manually Ooh. disable. I'd rather not. Um, so the basics of keyboard sizes. You have 100%, which is a full size keyboard, which is going to include your numpad. It's going to include your function row. Then you have what's called a TKL or 10 key less, which is an 80% keyboard, uh, which is you're removing basically just your numpad. It's literally 10 keys less. Um, and then you have a 75%, which drops um, uh, a couple of functions, uh, but for the most part is as much as you're going to get with an 80%, but it's extremely, don't worry, we're going to get to the fucking split boards. I swear to God, give me a minute. Um, and then uh, you have your 65% and your 60%. I personally have a 65%. A 65% is going to have all of your basic keys, but you won't have a numpad, a function row, um, or, or yeah, basically you just lose your numpad and your function row. 60% you lose your numpad, your function row, and I believe you use layers for arrow keys. So you are losing your arrow keys of the 60%. And then finally a 40%, which is for uh, perverts. Um, and 40% are <laughs> drop your number row, um and are fucking ugly i'm i'm anti i'm anti 40 percents wow um, let me let me really zoom in there's on, on nothing these. under 40 uh no there are 20 percents and 25 percents um what are those getting rid of fuck? <laughs> oh i can i can show you a 25 percent keyboard yeah i'm for, for going sicko let's I believe. Yeah, I believe. high tight air in the chat's got a 35 percent you know let's go as low as we can go uh oh sh sure this yeah it's like it's like shit like this it is it is enough i'm trying to find a good example i think it's like a what is like, it like a, a functional one what do you like what do you... Uh... i think you need two of them at that point i think you're getting two of them at that point if you want and you're just programming them. them to be what you want right. them to be yeah mm -hmm. right uh i'm trying to find the smallest functional the flick key mini according to google <laughs> world's smallest keyboard Smallest keyboard. Yes. Okay. Forty percent are generally thought of the smallest, but there's there. I've seen someone do. I've seen someone go smaller than a forty percent. Um, I think they cut like a number pad. Yeah. <laughs> I think they cut. Um, what did they cut? Because forty percent, forty percent actually has arrow keys. I think it's like a, it's like a thirty percent. I think is the lowest. Um that I've seen. But yeah, TKL is uh, 10 key less, which is your 80% is basically what it's called. Um, and what's a layer? A la is that basically so, assigning different functions for keys that you don't have on your keyboard anymore? Yes, to the like same so keys. So for example, my keyboard has um, three layers. I have a Dvorak layer, which I use for typing. I use a QWERTY layer, which I use for playing games. Uh, and then I have a function layer, um, which is for all my function keys. 
And these I are really the, want I really want Rob to get something less than hundred percent. These oh no, Rob should not have a hundred. No 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 no. Rob should yes, not have hundred percent. Rob you should not have hundred percent. hundred percent keyboard. Rob should I not have hundred percent. Start without hundred percent. No, a hundred percent is fucking. Rob, hundred percent is fucking god. No, we're, Rob. I Rob. I promise you. I want you to trust me, Rob. I want if you to you're trust going me, to Rob. Do this. If you're going to go on this journey, Rob, we have more options. Start by being. We have more options than just this. We have more options, and we can go further. We can go further. We can go beyond. So uncomfortable right now. He doesn't like it. He doesn't Don't worry, look at Rob. Him. I just need you to trust me. I just need you to trust me. I mean, it's it is a it is fair to say that the numpad only gets used intermittently and predominantly to type in the universal code for an M dash, uh, which I maintain is a better solution. You can than make Patrick's. A, Patrick, can make... leave it pasted into the top of a dock also, yeah, solution that he used that's for a, also, yeah. also 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 copy and paste rob, that m dash rob you can just put an m dash on a key what if i told you you could just whoa hold on what you, <laughs> what if i told you you can just put an m dash on a key <laughs> here we fucking go uh -huh. Uh -huh. here we fucking go rob, this changes everything rob. hold on which of these little fuckers <laughs> don't need to be here <laughs> All right, Rob. You know, one of those brackets could go. We're gonna go, on, Rob. Trust me. I, I want you to trust me here. Yeah. So we're. This is the other realm of keyboards: is split keyboard layouts. Yeah. Split okay. keyboards are. They take a little bit longer to learn how to use. It takes a bit of time to get used to, like a like a week, um, to get used to. So hold on. Can we? Can I interject here? Yes, please. I think I've used one before, though it wasn't like split in this fashion. But I used to use a Microsoft Surface ergonomic keyboard. Mm -hmm. or sculpt i can't remember what it was but anyway microsoft used to make good ergonomic keyboard maybe they still do um and you bring that up it was like one of those waveform designs yes but i know what you're talking key, about the keys were split like you had a left and right hand uh like key area that key you brad um was it this uh... one this one, the Microsoft uh, the sculpt? guy on the left actually but that's the yeah the, 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 the those layouts look pretty familiar uh, yeah, like that guy right there. Now, you can't see maybe the, the full rise of the contour uh, that that one had, but uh, it was a pretty good keyboard. It was just membrane keys felt awful. Membrane um, keys are fucking terrible. They don't feel and, good. There's one membrane keyboard that feels good, and that's it. And also, I think that ergonomic keyboard was just not up to the strain of that WASD life. Yeah. Um, no, it's, it's not going to be. Ren, um, what, was the, what was the membrane keyboard that you were like feels good there is one membrane keyboard that actually was just released a little bit ago that i've actually heard very good things about but it's like 400 dollars uh because it is electrocapacitive but it uses a different kind of electrocapacitive switches um that apparently yeah. makes it feel very very good um i will have to like remember what it's called but like it is it is it has a bespoke technology um that even other like membrane keyboards do not use um so i i've, I've boosted rob um Oh, I just adjusted my gain. It's fine. It's like the gift of the Magi, where oh. it's like, I just boosted you. And I was like, I just changed my gain. It's fine. It's, beautiful. it's fine. It's fine. It is fine. Uh, and so here's the thing about split okay. keyboards. I yeah. don't own a split keyboard, but the next keyboard I'm building is a split keyboard. And to give you the idea of the potential that split keyboards have, let me, let me pitch this to you. Mm-hmm. Rob, this is here. I'll just pull up an Ergodox Infinity. I can find a pretty one. Give me a sec. Be a motherfucker to get, but it's fine. Hey, look. Yeah. I just I, this is uh, this is really off topic. Yeah, please. Um, the Senate just passed unanimously a bill to make daylight savings time permanent. Wait, wait. Did we just lose? We did the it. House doesn't pass it. This is, we one, this did is it. one of those coming it's from the Senate to the House. Insane. Did we fucking did it? Did we fucking did it yet? Oh my it's fucking god! Insane. What? I swear okay. to Christ! This is too yes. much to take on. Leave it. Leave so, it. Leave it. Sprung forward. Do not fall back. I want to stay right where I am. <laughs> right where we are. Year. Let's go. It's. Right I don't mind winding the clock back, but the leap forward. Wait, if we can oh just get god. rid of it forever, I then. Do this. All right, we're gonna go to my personal Pinterest, everyone. Okay. <laughs> We're not going to look at the I'm a lesbian board. We're going to go to the Keebs board. All right. Welcome to my Keebs board. 
gamers. Keebs board. My Keebs board. Um, and in here, we have many a keyboard. And let me, let me tell you about the Ergodox Infinity and why I think it's the keyboard for you. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. Um, wait, where's, the, where is, where's a good one? Where's a, where's a good one? There we go. All right. I wish I could zoom in more on this view image. Okay. So this that keyboard right here. look like hands. That, that was, I'm, at, I'm, at yes. the, I'm at the basketball game. Yes. I'm going, out. go yes. team, go. Yes. Go team, go. So basically, the pitch on these is that you have all your standard keys. You see them all there. You have all your typing keys. Mm -hmm. And then you also have those thumb buttons, which you can custom set. And Rob, you can put an M dash on your thumbs. You can put a space bar on your thumbs. You can put an M dash on your I'm thumbs. I'm scared of it. Why are you afraid, Rob? Why are you afraid, Rob? I feel Rob? like, where did the big space bar go? Ah, uh, trusty old space bar. Can't miss that. Womp. <laughs> trusty old space bar is right there, Rob. Where? It's right it's there. Just, it's it's, it's one of those now, tiny it's ass buttons. It's not bars. tiny. It's not tiny. It's you can just bars. imagine that the space bar has been cut in half. It's divided. But there's like eight keys where he used to I know, be. and you can choose like... which one. You can choose which one. You can map like if you the want. Steel seven. Well, just a look little keyboard way. cannibalism look as a treat. Look yeah. It's look your at thumb. how much give your thumb. Your, your thumb can move so hitting, well. Hitting that, that space bar like this. This motherfucker. It, this like motherfucker. That. Look at this, look at this guy go. Look at this guy go. Go anywhere. <laughs> If you believe in it, <laughs> your thumb can go anywhere if you believe in it. Um, you know what? I, okay, I will say this. I do like that this looks like a keyboard recovered from a Star League uh, yes. like manufactory. Oh, we're Battle not Attack. even getting into fucking keycaps yet, Rob. That is, we've, we've got so Ooh. much to do. This and now, kind of like, is, is like if this was, if you told me this was recovered from the set of Alien um like ridley scott's film there like is I, a, I know, there is an here. alien keycap set yeah. i can pull it up what yeah yeah there's a key oh. there's a fucking keycaps for everything um here uh where is it there it is there's the alien that, semiotics too much i can't know uh, yes but yeah. it is no they need to look like the, no we can't use the actual no i think it's neat i think it it's is neat, neat but g20 semiotic um these are really neat um, I love and hate this. <laughs> like, oh, that's that looks really cool. Fucking, I would, it's cool as shit. It would it's so cool. It's so cool. I, I don't look at my keyboard when I type. I think, but is I this feel why like it takes you like thirty fucking minutes to send a text message? No, I've already. Oh my told god, you. Jesus Christ, <laughs> wow. Rob! Holy I shit! You. I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> that was Just uncomfortable. Anxiety. Okay. So, <laughs> Rob, this <laughs> I is. I think my message is. This is the Moonlander, Rob. And the Moonlander is a little bit simpler than the Ergodox. That's a VR controller. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what the fuck is actually... I'm noticing one thing about the moon. Oh, wait, no, we're good. Sorry, <laughs> that just... thing comes with your copy of Half-Life Alex. I haven't <laughs> fucked with the Moonlander too much. Um, Those look like oven mitts when, when, when photographed from that height. Ah, time to put my pizza in. Hit the space key. <laughs> I'm I'm mid on the Moonlander mostly because uh the Moonlander is you can't really get like you have to get like specific custom keycaps because of the weirdly shaped shit on there. Um and I'm not like a huge fan of that. I like sta standardization and interoperability are words I live by. Yeah, standardization um, and interoperability is what you're is what we're going to do a lot of here. Yeah. In terms yeah. of looking at the Ergodox, which is like it is the Ergodox is very powerful in that it is like entirely open source and works with most things. Um, the other thing to note, people are pointing out if shoulder and back pain are important, you do want tilt, um, which is true. Um, well, I play through pain. No, we can make it so you don't have to. Yeah. Don't do that. Does um, tilt mean like the back of the keyboard can elevate? Um, sides so basically what you're sides. looking to do is so yeah like that uh, and what you also want is um, to keep your arms shoulder width apart because your arms if once they're if your hands are shoulder width apart you are not bringing your hands together because Wait. that will help your back a lot 
So I don't have to live like this anymore. No, Rob. That's the point of getting a. I that's can live the, like this. That's the point yeah. of getting a split keyboard. Yeah. It'd be like a keyboard equivalent of my hands on throttle and stick. Yes. Legitimately, <laughs> yes. Like what you're doing is 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 helping your back. Um. Whoa. Like that is the that is the purpose of ergonomic keyboards is that you're splitting your hands okay. as like as far apart on your desk as possible, or like comfortably. So you are like not stressing yeah. your shoulders yes. and arms a ton. Yeah. As someone is pointing, uh, Rilo Joe uh, Seven is pointing out, like it's similar to the experience of like using a Joy-Con for the first time, and that like, oh Being wow, like, oh yeah, it's extremely relaxing to like sit down. I can just lay here like game. this. Yeah, like, and like, just like sprawl yeah. in the direction like, that feels most comfortable to you instead of one of my most. Gremlin insane traits is that if i'm playing like switch my switch in like a not a public space but like at a like with my friends around i will fully like i can't my camera's in my position i will fully put my arms back behind me on a chair just like wrap those motherfuckers around the back of the chair and like just like let my arms fucking hang as i play the video game like a monster <laughs> um but here's the thing about a lot of people are saying that the ergodox infinity doesn't have tilt they're saying they're saying the Ergodox doesn't have tilt. You're wrong. You're a fool. You're a little bitch. I'm not. <laughs> you can get a custom case for the Ergodox for the Ergodox. Ergodox. Jesus Christ. You can get a custom case for the Ergodox Infinity that can have tilt in it. Uh, my friend, friend of friend of me, friend of Cato, friend of the site, Dante Douglas has a very pretty Ergo. Um. Ergodox case, a uh, very pretty ergo with um, uh, little little legs for tilts, um, which is apparently very comfortable. Here's an example: uh, Ergodox bamboo cases with tilt tent and wrist rest. Um, just as an example of, of what we could be looking wow. at here. That wood finish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's going on there at the prow of those things? <laughs> you mean the you mean the wrist rest? I was just, am I just, I was just leaving from the other side. Sorry. I was like, yeah. that's a weird layout. Uh, <laughs> the way it was angled. Okay. So. This is another one. Okay. Uh huh. That's and now. Wow. And now. Here's the thing. If you're worried, if you're afraid of what it means to not have your numpad. Mm hmm. What if I told you? You could just get an external numpad. You could just get an external <laughs> macro pad. Okay, but this actually leads me to my other question mm -hmm, about mm -hmm. like even the split keyboard. Mm -hmm. Isn't it going to be more chaos and cables and things like going every which way? No. In my whole situation? No. Because going the way, way. <laughs> because the way that these connect to each other, they connect mm -hmm. to one another like this. So you see the the picture that I have on screen currently. Yeah. So, so that looks like yeah. They chain. And so you can make all of these cables extremely, extremely clean. Um, if you want to. And if you have the heart, for example. What if I want to preserve like my laptop Rob, functionality? Rob, Rob, like this. Oh, that gives you some give. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. You can stretch it out across. You can see I guess it's still by default one extra cable. Like you have to yes. connect the You are looking the, at the, one extra cable. But, but no, you are proposing getting a numpad in there. Yeah, that's a, that's two extra cables. That would be to the right yeah. of the whole situation. Could and also, you, you could also just could you, not. Move on my part. you could take in theory. You could take the numpad off when you don't need it. Well, you can just set that on the side. Is... If when you don't need it, you unplug it. You put it on the side. It's fine. Couldn't it's you fine. also, in theory, make a layer that just puts the numpad on one of the sides yeah you like could but one... that's hard to like internalize in your brain sure but with the right keycaps you can make it so they're on there right you can get like little custom keycaps to say oh this is You're fixing a pro h people are saying that we're fixing a four we're fixing people are saying that we're fixing a problem caused by not getting 100 percent, and that's because the 100 percent is fucking garbage fuck 100 <laughs> percent. fuck 100 percent right. keyboard then Aesthetically, I, well, right. they're hideous. You know what? Yeah. We're, you're right. The numpad is gone. We don't need the numpad. All I would need is my M dash key, and that is a solved problem. So let's cut it back down to the 75. Can uh, I just can I just this... map the M dash key onto an existing 
key? Do I need? Do I need? You can go on one of those little thumb buttons. I use it almost as much as space anyway. So yes. So I'm just saying on the existing yes, keyboard yes. I have, can I just pretend that like this asterisk that I never use could just be the M dash, right? Can I? Can you do that in Windows, or do I need an external key? Do I need a new keyboard to do that? I mean, it depends on if your keyboard is is uh, is like programmable. So, like for example, my keyboard has a um, PCB that is like programmable in uh, Via, and so that's why I have it set up the way that I do. Is that like all of my shit is is programmed? Yeah, can I do that with this Razer keyboard? Like, can I stop probably copying and pasting an M dash? From yes, probably. A Google document into my article. Almost definitely. Very that would be likely. worth. Every part of this yes. thing, who gives a shit where yes. Rob yes. ends Patrick. up with a keyboard? Yes, Patrick, you definitely can. Okay, well, look Hell at a yeah. fucking 1800 layout. Mm, I'm anti What's the 1800 layout? People are saying I'm that's terrible. Up. I agree. I was so used to a Mac, where, you know, the Mac where you hit, like, Control, Alt, and the whatever to get the M dash. This I is an 1800. The 1800 is fine. It's fine. That's just it's, the a squish, uh, it's a more squished together 100. Huh, it's wait, it's though, a, but that, just, that sends the insert home page up keys to hell where they might belong. Right, exactly. Mm. You don't need those to be like a little separated. Mm. Right? You just squish it all down. That's not bad. You keep the you keep the arrow Ooh, keys. Look at, the, look at the colors on the one, two, three, four, five. I guess fifth, fifth image. I can't count. That's the sixth image. Oh, the fifth image? Count. This one? No, sorry. Yeah. Oh, do you mean this one? Then, but yeah, I think we need to back up just like one second here. There. Because yeah, I think I we're, we're or something else. Let's. Oh, history of the great where I asked Rob how often do you use the arrow keys? Uh, every game that has a dog shit camera, uh, the arrow keys end up being the way to brute force the camera into position. Um, so it gets used a fair bit. They don't always use WASD controls. I feel like I am, but I feel like I'm ready to commit to one thing in theory. Yes. Which is that split keyboard layout. You do Let's... like you do like the Ergodox, one of these. Yes, I do. Yeah. Now, here here's a question. I know that like the Microsoft keyboard had a contour for some reason, but yes. I'm not actually sure is that necessary or is the main thing once you've split the keyboard, you've solved like you've done 80% a percent of the ergonomic problems. You've done a lot of it, but you will, can also get a tilt. That's why I was talking about okay. the the okay. tilt. And yeah, we can also we can find an ergo or a split keyboard that has regular arrow keys um yeah also also you know what people people want me to show you uh uh the key cron or maybe like a gmmk pro and fine i'll show you a gmmk pro i'm fine with a gmmk pro i feel like this is <sighs> this is like researching Ooh. bmw packages it's a gmmk pro <laughs> where this eventually is, it's fine. just like it's all numbers and codes and Look at that knob. Yeah, it's got a knob, but you can also just do what I've done. Mm. And let me reach over on my desk. I like the that's the, the first thing in this entire endeavor that I wish I had. Was a knob? The knob the knob seems fun. And that's good. and that's the and that's the thing that I can offer a one Rob Zachney. <laughs> is if you make the decision to have a separated numpad. You can put knobs on that numpad. As many as you want. Oh. As many as you... So, let me... I'm looking around my, my bedroom to find the object I'm looking for. My workflow doesn't require more like more than just the knob for the volume, but you two do a lot of editing. So, I, I understand. I see, the, so, I see the workflow use cases. So, what I else have... Is a, what else is a knob used for? You use it for transitions. You use it for transitions, but also like in terms of like game stuff, oh. zoom, right? Like you're talking about zoom, you're talking about camera movement. Like knobs oh, are like, knobs are great. Imagine uh, zooming in and out in like XCOM with a little knob instead of the scroll. The mouse wheel. Yeah. It's what are we thing that's talking on your about? Hand? What are we doing? <laughs> I think. Okay, it depends mouse on. Okay, wheels, the mouse wheels click in weird ways. Also, think, also, also, mouse, also, also, you know? it's fine. It's fine if it's if it's not for Rob. Well, that's fine. I'm just saying. I can a say that can a knob like is actively useful it. for me. A knob can have like you know. I'm get, a bit a, of knobs are actively useful for me. But for example, I have I have this board which is a tidbit, and I'm fine. I'm fine if you don't want it. That's that's okay. That's okay. I mean, I'm fine with whatever your choice is, Rob. I'm stand by you. But like for example, let me just pop this in here. There we go. 
Yeah, the feeling of a knob is what that's what I'm trying to say. It's like it it feels like you know, you can probably get like a nice you can adjust the uh the the tension or like amount of sensitivity mm -hmm. on a knob in a way that like your regular mouses are gonna be whatever yeah, yeah. it's the best way to control you're volume. Like, you're turning the knob and then also moving your mouse to it's get the best. The... It's the best way to control <laughs> volume. It's it's the best way to control volume. Also, they click. Hey, you can click them as buttons. I need to interject here with please. what might be a might be a stupid question. No, please. But... Mm. Any day, Rob. So, with the split keyboard, yes. Is it feasible sometimes just be like, I I am just in shooter mode here. I only need half this keyboard. And just like unhook half of it and just shove it aside and go into like little wasty gremlin mode or bring it over to my couch. Yes. And just balance it on my knee or the arm. Man, yes. uh, Rob, yes. Emmanuel Myberg, I, I think uh, he's a big waypoint fan and the chat says yes. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I, I can confirm. Yes, you can do this because each you're what you're doing is when you're doing an ergo, what you're doing is you're programming each button on that PCB. And so you can plug them in to just one side of the PCB. And because you have programmed the <clears> firmware <throat> or you have, you have set the firmware to each button means a certain thing, you can very easily switch over. Does that make sense? It does. It does. So, so like, for example, I can pull up Rob for you. Um, I'll make that so the stream can see this. Everyone, I swear to God, I swear to God. Chat, I swear to God, if people get mad at my desktop, I'm gonna unhinge my jaw like a snake. <laughs> just, I've just se I've se we've seen Kato's desktop. People, like, how much worse gonna be? It's trash. It's not. It's not worse than Kato's. I can say that at the very least. Alrighty, general <laughs> change. <laughs> I'm here to just Local like round out that capture for everyone. Display <laughs> one. Windows graphics capture. Okay. Just gonna right click hide okay. icons. That's a good shortcut. So I'm opening up VIA right now. Yeah. And let me make it so y'all can see VIA in per sec. VIA <clears throat> allowed. There we go. Okay. This is VIA. And this is the program that I use Whoa. to... Oh, Lord. It's okay. I promise. We're safe here. This is the program that I use to uh, customize my um, firmware. Um, yes, I know. Listen, 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 listen. Via and QMK, I get it. I get it. Oh, yeah, there's too much waypoint on the screen so people can see my production shit. There we go. Okay. <laughs> um, QM, listen, QMK rules. It's just Via is easier to use for most people. Um, and so this is what you use for a key tester because, oh, my God. I, mm. um, it's time to solder. Are we getting into the... We are not going to be soldering. I do not want to make Rob solder. Well, I mean, I could, it could be fun to make Rob solder, but I feel like that, that is I was thinking. that is a recipe for disaster. What I what I would say is, um, if I've learned anything in these five and a half intimate years with Rob, th this is not the end of a journey. Um, it is. It is. It's the beginning. It is the beginning. Yeah. Really, and the so, beginning. Look. Doug C. Ellen. Well, oh. Patrick died. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Doug C. Ellen in, in, in chat is getting at what I was getting at. I would just assume that Rob can already solder. Yeah, right? Rob, can you solder? Oh, of course I have a soldering iron. Are you kidding? Okay, well. <laughs> okay. okay. Of course my on. partner has a soldering iron. <laughs> there we go. Don't worry. I, I am actually ordering a soldering iron soon because I actually have to solder all of these fucking. I have, I have three numpads okay. sitting around Never, my apartment. It's time to make. Never I have once. I have th one sec. Let me let me acknowledge this because I've tweeted about this Sorry. before. I have three numpads sitting around my apartment because two of them were bought as gifts. Um, uh, each of which uh, uh, the the people who they were bought as gifts for both broke up with me before I could finish <laughs> before I could finish the keypads, and so I kind of just have three keypads just sitting around my apartment. Um, uh, just in in boxes that I need to I need to finish and find something to do with. Um, this aside, uh, yeah. what we need to do is Rob. We're gonna get you a hot swap board. Is is a key, and a hot swap board is a board that you don't have to solder, and instead okay. all of the switches 
you can just switch out whenever you want to. So basically, if you decide that you want to use a different key switch, you just pull it off and pop it back in. Okay. Um, but that'd be like changing my switches. That's yes. a big decision. Like, I don't like the feel of these. Yeah, that would be... Okay. Yes. Or the sound. Sometimes you... You don't like the feel, you don't like the sound. sound. Yeah. It's like, I want it to click slightly differently. Um, Let's get some new acoustics in here. Exactly. And... What's up, Rob? I feel like you're preparing so, for something emotional. I, yes, I mean, just one, just one small thing. Yes, I'm here for you. <laughs> so this program... Yes. My keyboard's still just going to be working as a keyboard if I plug it in a different machine, right? I don't have to, like, program it to, like, talk that's, to each machine. No, that's the thing, because you're changing the firmware. Okay. Yeah. If you're okay. changing the firmware, that means that you are... So, like, my keyboard, no matter okay. what I plug it into, <clears throat> we are set up to work with anything. Okay. Um, because I was a little worried, because, like, the downfall of me and things like a HOTAS, for instance, mm -hmm. is... They're so programmable that, like, you go through and, like, I'm going to program it in all the ways I need it programmed. And then, like, it's exhausting. And then you're like, how the fuck did I have this thing programmed before? And then it's a nightmare. Right. Um, you know, so, like, customizable control, sometimes it's too much power. Um, hey, Ren, yeah, real quick, before we move on, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. This thing that we're looking at right now. Yeah. What is that? Is that? What is this layout? The one that I have right now? Yeah, yeah. This is Dvorak. This is Dvorak. Yes. Okay. This is Dvorak. This is my default. Oh my I don't God. think I realized <laughs> that the fucking uh, arrow, uh, oh le less than, greater than, were All up right. in the top left All that right. way in Dvorak. Right. <laughs> we gotta fucking... All right, listen. You listen. It is, it is, <laughs> just yeah. move that Z to the other side. I fucking oh, refuse. It's fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. The f Okay. The idea behind Dvorak is that you mm -hmm. alternate between your left and right hands, which is why you have all of your vowels on your left hand and you have most of your consonants on your right hand. In addition, you have all of your punctuation on your left hand because you're going to end most words with, with fucking consonants. And so the whole situation is it's named after the person who made it, which is Dvorak. Um, Hell of a composer. Okay. And so I assumed that Dvorak was like QWERTY and it was no, going to be a row of keys. No, that it's named after the man who made it. Um, this makes more sense to me now. I understand. <laughs> so, yeah. Dvorak is basically, yeah, the, 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 thing, the thing is that someone has said is that like, is Dvorak faster? Mm, not really. Is Dvorak better for your hands? Yes. Dvorak is better for your hands and your wrists because you're stretching your fingers less to go from one key to another. So, for example, if you were, like, typing on a QWERTY keyboard, if we go over to a default layout, which is here, say, for example, you're typing the word... Uh, da, 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 da. I'm trying to think of a good example. I like the word treat. Yes. That yeah. yeah. And treats treats an okay one because you're always you're only using your left hand. Right. And you are stretching up there off yes. the like home keys. Yes. Then coming back down to the home keys. Yes. And then, yeah. Like that. And so you're yeah. all doing all of that travel with your left hand sequentially. And so instead you can do T R so I'm this is right hand T R E A T and then like I'm basically like t alternating like my hand use um but probably the ergonomic benefits yeah you're going to get basically most of them are going to come from like the yes, keyboard the angle keyboard. Yes. and uh, layout I'm yeah. not I'm not trying to advocate for Dvorak yeah. now Yes, you can use other people's keyboard. God damn it. All right. I'm going to stand Dvorak again. All right. You listen here. <laughs> you people listen here. Yes, you can. You can switch the keyboard you're using in Windows so fast. You can switch it fucking instantly. You can, you can click on this little thing in the bottom right of your fucking Windows. And you can, and you can go change the language of think, your keyboard. I think people were maybe 
talking to the fact that if you learn one way, swapping back might be difficult if you've internalized the muscle memory of right. Dvorak so long, then you can't use no, but I'm saying that you, stuff easier. You, no, you can't. Oh, you're saying you can make it. You can just switch it. Yeah, they all have built-in Dvorak support. Right. So you literally right. just go into your, like... And then the keys will say the wrong things on them, but your muscle memory will work will, out. Will follow, like, yes. So, for example, right now, preferred language English, right now I have the QWERTY keyboard. My computer uses QWERTY. Like, system level uses QWERTY. And I personally don't use QWERTY because the firmware on my keyboard is using Dvorak. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So when I press the QWERTY button, everything goes back to normal. And so the second I plug this into someone else's computer, this keyboard, it works exactly fine for me. Yep. Works perfectly fine. Uh, again, I'm not trying to settle anyone on Dvorak no. because like, this is something that I just personally like. Um, it was something I did because I was like worried about wrist pain because I have some mm -hmm. like connective tissue problems that will likely develop into arthritis as I get older if I do not like seriously care for my body. Um, and so I have like, I switched over to Dvorak for like a particular reason. Yeah. Um, oh my God. 100% stands in the chat. Stop looking. We just keep, keep, keep yep. going. For, what's the next step? Next step. Okay. So, Rob, let me confirm. You like the Ergodox. You like yes. the split layout. Okay. I do. All right. So, step one, we're going to do it. We're going to find a good Ergo. And, like, we can, we can specify beyond that in, in, you know, in secret. Next, we're going to do switches. Excellent. All right, Rob, first question. Let me go over the basic types of switches. So pulling up the images of switch types. So there are three primary types of switches. There are linears, tactiles, and clickies. A linear is a switch that has no clicker feedback. So what you're doing is you're just pressing it down and it hits the bottom and it is a consistent feel of pressure the whole way down. Yes, clicky is the technical term. Um, so when you push your finger down on the key, it's even travel and pressure all the way down. A tactile on my gaming one. A tactile is going to have what's called a slight tactile bump. And so you can see in this image, um, we're going to open this image on a new tab. Okay, here we go. So basically, you see like how this a lot is of, like a lot of laptop, like a MacBook, like keyboards are probably all linears, right? Like no, they like, those are membrane. Oh, what's the? Mm, what's we the, didn't talk that's about that's a different here. thing. That's, that's a totally this. different thing. All These right. are mechanical yeah, switches yeah. versus membrane switches. Um, fuck membrane. Membrane feels like shit, and it also every like... key every keyboard where like an area of the keys stopped working or responding reliably. Mm -hmm. That's like a classic membrane problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know those keyboards yeah. shit on those MacBooks for like seven years or something. Anyway. No, 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 no. But like Mac, Mac has its own key keyboard issues that are like like membrane keyboards uh, just like fail in a really predictable way. Yeah, right. they are they are unreliable uh, and also bad. They sound bad and they feel bad. Feels like fucking typing on rubber. Ugh. Um, and so a linear key switch is, has, you see here um, on yeah. this left side, there's no, like this little nub here. That is what gives you your tactile bump. Okay. And therefore, so as, so I have tactile switches. So like if I reach into my little box of switches, when you start pressing down on the switch, there is a noticeable point at which it gets harder to press down. And that is the tactile bump. So you can feel when your key is engaging. Does that yeah, make sense? Yeah, yeah, I can. I um, like the keyboard I've got right now. I can wiggle it around a little bit, but I know it's not engaging. Yeah. And there, then there's like a little push, and it sort of pops down. Exactly. That is probably either a tactile or a clicky. Um, and so your tactiles are going to have a much gentler feel. So like tactiles are going to be less quiet. Is are going to be way more quiet than clickies, and a lot. They're basically the midpoint between a clicky and a linear. A clicky okay. is what you are thinking of when you think of like the worst fucking person you've ever met 
in in an office is just using the loudest clickiest motherfucking switches like 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 blues like if someone's using blues those are extremely loud clicky switches or like mid loud quick clicky switches that are going to like they those are going to make a, a loud and noticeable sound right so that that is a podcasting with natalie keyboard switch got it <laughs> um, <laughs> I have, I have explained why I'm anti 100%. Um, and so. Okay, so my, sen- like, so the linear sounds weird to me. Like, I'm having a hard time, like, I don't think I've used it. I, like, I'm, like, sitting here, I'm, like, I'm not sure I've used a keyboard like that. Because, um, like, even pressure to engage, there's no, like, sort of, like, pop. That sounds mm-hmm. a little bit strange. So, yeah, there's, there's going to be even, yeah. So, basically, I'm not a huge fan of linears, um, which are fine. Um, yeah. I am personally pro tactiles. Um, so I currently. So this is, I was inclining in that direction because here's the thing. Like, I do love a good, like, nice mechanical action. Like, who doesn't? Yeah. But key thing about my apartment, the bedroom mm-hmm. upstairs, because this is a converted, like, industrial building. The wall behind me, where the window is, the floor doesn't go flush to the window. It's a giant, like, two-story window from when it was a factory. So there's a little air gap between, Mm -hmm. like, the bedroom and downstairs. Right. That, uh, I have been told, makes many things audible. Right. Um, You know, gaming. Linears are going to be your quietest. Um. I don't care that much. Then tactiles, then clickies. <laughs> but, then but, 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 Rob, Rob, that on a USB drive to Rob's apartment. Rob, let me, let me, let me offer you something. Let me offer you an idea. Yeah. Silent tactiles. There are things with a tactile bump that do not make a significant sound. Oh, it's like putting a suppressor on it. But, so, yeah, for example, <laughs> I am currently, and these are fine. They're like, it's like very light tactile bump. It, well, there's, it depends. There are a couple with a stronger tactile bump. Uh, so like, for example, right now I am using silent clears and silent clears are a tactile switch that do not have like a loud sound. Um, and my silent clears are very nice. I would describe the way my keyboard sounds as like rain on a window. Hey, can we... Can you get to a safe, like, can you put them a notepad and just give us a little, like, yeah. taste? Yeah, of course. I can, I can, oh. I can. I mean, here's the thing. I haven't lubed my switches in a while. It's been, like, six. It's been, like, six. I will months. never lube my switches. So I will. be a good sample of what no, my keyboard no, will sound no, like no, after Rob, about a year. No, 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 Rob. I, I will not I'm gonna have you to, not wait, lube your switches. My keyboard's going to require maintenance? Uh, no, no, no. Well, maybe, you won't, maybe you won't maintain it, but I will say mm. that when we... The, if we were to theoretically build a keyboard with a camera pointed at it, you will have to lube some of the switches. Well, that makes sense. I think, we're, but I think, it, I think yeah, he's speaking to time. in the future when he goes home. It's not. Yeah, yeah, it's not like I have to put this thing up on blocks and like unseat all my keys and like oh, time for the keyboard lubing. You technically don't. You don't have to. I mean, I would but occasionally. I, should, I keep hearing a, an unspoken. But you should. Okay, one sec. Let me. Well, let me. Well, should, should is a, a word that has multiple definitions and gradients. Yeah, exactly. I am going to. I'm going to put these. Yeah, lube the stabs at the very least. I am going to like put this right next to. I'm going to put my uh, audio right next to my keyboard so you can hear it. I think you should be able to hear it if I put it right next. Sounds great. Oh, it's getting crisp out a little bit, but. But what I hear is tremendous. Yeah. That is great. It's click without the obnoxiousness. Yeah. Yeah. Like and little... I, ha- I have my my keyboard. It does it. 
It is like a gentle wild. rain. Yeah. Like yeah, just pitter patter. This sound is like this is one of the like options you can like if you pay uh, pay for to unlock all the like soothing sounds on your meditation app. This is one of them. When I go to bed, no longer will I listen to white noise. I will listen to what was it, what was this called again? <laughs> what was it? <laughs> what were these? <laughs> tactile switches. Yeah. Hey, blank. Play tactile switches. <laughs> okay, I'm so. I want that. That. <laughs> Sorry, one sec. I had to like. I had to. I had to pull. I had to like reorganize my whole fucking desk now. That my fucking. Oh god. Okay. Hook that back on there. Okay. I have to fucking turn my mic back here. Alrighty, there we go. Um, so yeah, those were my silent tactiles. Um, uh, those are silent. Fucking sold. Those were silent clears. Um, the other note is that there is a couple. There was a little bit of switch ping there. Sorry, not switch ping. Spring ping there. Uh, that's because I haven't looped my switches in a minute. Um, what does a minute mean? Uh, like six months. Jesus Christ. Eight months. That's a lot. Of, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a frequency, Rob. That's no, it's not, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. Relax. 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 Um, I haven't done it since I first like built the keyboard. You don't need to loop your switches that much. And also, that's just because spring ping bothers me specifically. There's like barely ping, and you could only hear the ping because my fucking mic was like right up against it. Uh, I will note, this is, this is fair to say, there are a couple of mods on my keyboard. I have done a couple of mods to make the sound a little bit better. Um, spring ping, for someone asking in the chat, is the sound of a, scr of a spring crunching uh, as, it, as it goes down. Does that make sense? So you can hear a spring like eh, um, as it goes down and you can avoid that by um, basically lubing uh your switches uh lubing your springs which is actually super easy to do you just disassemble the switch and you put all your um uh springs in a bag and then you just put some oil in there and you like rub it around and you're done um, it's really it's more less a uh impact on the practicalities of using it yeah. as much as how much does the sound yes. bother you yes. and then your t your tolerance will rise on how often you need to engage in the in the yes. great looping yes exactly uh, and like, um, it's, it's totally fine to just do, um, to like, just lube your switches the first time and it'll be fine. I promise it'll be good for a while, yeah. basically forever. If you don't care, I only That's care because I also, uh, these were my, this is my first set and I did over lube, uh, a lot of my switches, Yeah. um, which is fine. Uh, I would now know much better, um, and yeah, some places will pre-lube your switches, but like, they're not, they're fine at pre-lubing switches. Hey, listen, it's fine. Um. <laughs> so, that sounded, it sound, sounded really nice. Sounds like a huge improvement over what I've got going on right now. Mm -hmm. And like, I think would, honestly, like, it, you know, if my partner can hear that from upstairs, like, I think she'd be thrilled. I think she'd be like, oh, I love that's, it when that, you're. That, now that's her problem, not mine. I love it when you're, I love it when you're gaming. <laughs> Uh, lady. I just Rob just wants to 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 demonstrate that he has taken steps in this relationship to address your needs, and if that's not enough, well, <laughs> well, yeah. what? I don't know. <laughs> the, you're, this is where your partner would inject respond, Rob. <laughs> um, I I think she'll be like, I appreciate that you went to the tactile key keyboard. That the, the 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 switches. If she That's says great. that, I will send you five. I will fix your speakers myself. <laughs> no need, Patrick. Florida man has it. Florida man. Florida oh, man. Yeah, okay. All right, Everyone, check. can we get a quick shout out in chat to Florida man? <laughs> um. Oh God. So yeah. Uh, this is this is the basics. So we've we've settled on. There are two. There are like three generally accepted kinds of good, like. Tact, silent tactiles um, that people have different feelings on. Um, there are what's called, and I'm so sorry, what this is called. They're called xylence. What? Yeah. What am I looking at here? 
these are silent what are tactile other switches. pictures of like clocks and why am i they're just it's just people being irritating wait are they trying to make me associate these with the, the speedometer switches yeah. with premium yeah yeah, wrist yeah. Watches? premium yeah. wrist watches yeah yeah or jewelry or jewelry yeah so oh my god <laughs> xylence <laughs> the thing about xylence is Xylence do have a bit of a reputation for being a little bit crunchy, not crunchy, but like it's it, they're they're a bit scratchy. So like they have a okay. bit of a scratchy feel to them. Also, these are not thirteen dollars a key. These are uh, thirteen dollars for ten switches, and a traditional keyboard or like a ergo, I believe, uses sixty. Um. So what you're looking at is like a dollar thirty a switch. These are extremely expensive switches. Yeah, fuck it, let's get them. Um, yeah, it's we're not, not gonna stop fucking, Robert. We're Rob's not on board, fucking dude. done. <laughs> uh, we also have. Yeah, what are uh, we at so different... far? We have a, a, a price count in the corner, Cato. We start adding adding this well, up. We yeah. we also have different um, weights. So, for example. Um, I believe mine are like 65 grams, which is to say how much the action, how much like physical force it takes to push your keys down. Um, yeah, we're just, we're, we're, we're going to do the rabbit hole dive. Don't worry. Um, so 62, 65, 67, or 78. Um, the... Here. Uh, so, for example, a 78 Xylent. For those who prefer a slightly lighter MX Clear, I use MX Clears, but want a bigger and smoother bump. Uh, the tactile bump is round and snappy at the very top from beginning to end. The spring is heavier than all other Xylent variants. Um, Zeal switches are, are very expensive, comparatively, versus what I currently use, which are... I use MX Clears. Okay. Specifically, um, Silent Clears, uh, which have about a like a sixty-five. Uh, here, let me. Where's, that, where's a good picture of my Silent Clears? Uh, I need to find like a good. I mean, I have like a physically have one in my hand. Rob should theoretically order small samples of a bunch of different keys. We could get like a key tester, but that's that's, no time that's for that. that would take too long. Yeah, we don't have time to get Rob a key tester, a uh, switch tester. Yeah. I will be ordering a switch tester for Renata, but we don't have time to get one for Rob. Okay, so let me let me open this up on my end as well. So Xylence, yeah. Xylence or MX Clears. Wasn't there a third one, Zeal? Uh, so Xylence, MX Clears, and I believe the new one that is. Yeah, currently, I think people like the Boba Silent Linear, Silent Clears, uh, Silent Clear, sorry, Silent Tactile. I've, people seem to like the Boba. Here, let me pull these up. Um, do not, do not, oh, wow. do not sleep on the uh, Boba U4 is what people are saying. Let me, let me pull up. Let me, let me listen to one of these motherfuckers. Give me a sec. Let me listen let me to pull these. up a little. This is the biggest televised We're pulling up a YouTube video so I can hear this. The first state versus state song competition. And look who's hosting. California's going to crush it. Nah, it's not Listen, we don't have time to order a switch tester. We just don't. We don't. This is a leap of faith. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking. Here, sound test. Oh, I can't. Oh, wait. Here, let me share my audio. Give me a moment. Give me a moment, darling. Oh, wait. No, I can't share my audio. Wait, can't I? Can you not hear it through Parsec? It might be on my end. Let me see. Did, did anyone else hear anything? I, I wasn't didn't. hearing anything. I didn't. No, yeah, just double check and parsec right. what you're. But I can is. unmute the stream for a moment while we do this. Here, just I can just send you the video. All right, yeah, perfect. Yes, that's perfect. that's that is the call. You can each individually listen. There we go. And what you're gonna want to do is jump to two forty two. Hear the clicks. Or the lack thereof. Yeah, these aren't particularly thocky. Which ones are you using, Ren? Uh, silent clears. Which I would actually okay. say that... Um, I would say that silent clears are a little bit thockier 
than these. Um, so these are actually probably more silent than mine are. Um, and yeah, a little bit. I... Do you like these more? No. Yeah, they're, they're, they are sound a bit scratchier. You see what I mean by scratchier? You can kind of hear it. Yeah, it's just it. not pleasing. It's... Yeah, you know they're... what it is? It's like it's 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 muffled is the way I put it. You know what I mean? It's like it's 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 like it is lower volume, but it doesn't sound as clean. Yeah. Um Yeah, this is that's that's part of the problem with silence and with tactiles is that they get a little bit scratchy. Yeah. Um and that scratchiness yeah. comes from like that like kind of mushiness. So like you're looking yeah, for yeah. like a little bit mushy, a little bit scratchy, and that is not kind of what you want to feel um, when you're using a key. What are these gram ratings on the Xilent keyboard key switches? Uh, the Xilence, uh, do you know what do they mean? Or is it just weights for the different? The spring weight. Yeah, okay. Oh, so, so it's, it's like, okay. How heavy yeah. are the springs and how much, how much force do you have to push it to mm. actuate it? Um, um yeah so like mine are i believe 65 grams and they'll go for sorry oh it's right. sitting right here okay uh yeah i believe mine are 65 grams uh oh wait these are gateron silent clears actually um Yeah, I need to. Hmm. There we go. All right, silent clears, um, which are actually pretty cheap. Um, uh... Man, there's like really opinionated YouTube oh. reviewers of keyboard switches. Oh, Rob, you have no idea how bad <laughs> the keyboard Wait. community is it's Did a nightmare know that was a real thing huh no i mean i just like there's a whole wanna... world out there Rob. there's a whole yeah. world out there rob like a whole world out there whole ass world like a whole ass world out there let's see if... <laughs> damn they're sold out Oh, oh yeah. That's the other thing is like finding things is hard, but also like I know where to find things. It's fine. Um, but no, the keyboard bubble is, is hell. Yeah. P people are saying that it's, it's what you're looking at. The key, the true keyboard zone is like on the level of like audio files. Like, let me show you. Yeah. <sighs> oh God. What the fuck is it called? There's like a, there's like a $1,500 like keyboard. That is just the case and no keycaps, no switches, nothing. I believe it. Oh my god. Yeah. So Wait, not even the PCB? It's no, it's just PCB. The case? Oh, okay, okay. So you're talking case and case, PCB, PCB for like fifteen hundred, five K. Fucking Christ. Yeah. <laughs> it's extremely, hell? extremely expensive. Like the upper end of this like zone is is obscene. Um well, as top form points out, that 1.5k compared to audio files is fucking child's play. <laughs> like that's that's nothing <laughs> for a keyboard. I, I'm just, right? I'm just, I'm, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I yeah. agree. But like, yeah. for everyone's, everyone has a, everyone has a niche that you know can get dirty if they, if you want it to, for your wallet. So it's also someone asked in the chat that I want to answer the question. Um, what are you even paying for at that point? Yeah, it's it's, it's aesthetics, material, and form factor. So like basically my keyboard for example uh sounds different because it is an aluminum board so my board is made entirely of aluminum and has a aluminum plate and so like the thing that we're not getting into because mm -hmm. i don't want to hurt you is the different types of switch plates so for example i have an aluminum plate but aluminum bronze wood and plastic all sound totally different and feel different because you're talking about like, so for example, when you press down a key, right? The key mm -hmm. is making contact with the switch plate and there are difference between the amount of give that different kinds of plates have. 
And therefore the sound is different because the acoustics inside the board are physically different because the sound is bouncing around differently, like inside the case. Mm -hmm. um, it's like an instrument. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that is like, that is the degree of specification that like keyboards get to is like, you are basically dealing with a custom car or mm -hmm. like a different, um, or like, you know, yeah, custom instruments is another like a good example, right? Where you are basically building something that you are using every single day and you want it to feel exactly tuned to your particular specifications. Um, that is where the key, that is as far as, the, that is like where the keyboard hole ends up is basically treating them like custom cars. Uh, and like yeah. there being a similar degree of luxury in the upper range mm -hmm. of like 1500 to $5,000 keyboards. Um, I do like luxury. No, we're not doing. I won't. I won't let you hurt yourself like this, Rob. <laughs> you can even, and luckily, we've already made our decision regarding layout. Thank, thank God. Um, which means that we don't have to worry about shit that has like weights in it. Yeah. What? <laughs> Hold on. There's weight that we can. You so know, you mean like we can perfectly balance you the can, key? You can the, put like... aluminum weights in the actual mm. base of the keyboard that makes it have like an appropriate amount of weight and comfortability when you pick it up and like feels. Yeah, brass weights. Yeah. Like... Um, <laughs> I, we're not. Well, we're, here's the I thing. Rob is going to be moving this keyboard around right. all the time, apparently. I might so want maybe to the, be... weights, <laughs> the weights might be necessary. <laughs> Kato, like yes so yes, like because right. the thing is is it we're not gonna have the lap dog in play anymore sometimes it'll just need right. to sit like you know what you know what it is like like a nice uh rocks glass you know like first you're like i'll drink scotch on anything bottom. but so eventually you're like i need that leaded crystal yeah because and i need that yeah and that big like heavy weighted bottom yeah and it feels better I knew it. And everything I knew tastes this. better. Uh, yeah. Someone, someone is asking why? Why does it matter what something feels like when you pick it up? I mean, like for some people, they just like to have an object that feels like an object that they like. I for so. Can I put into context why I got into keyboards? Because I think it's I think it's fun. Um, yeah. I got into keyboards because I have a thing with the world and with objects, and that the more material effort I put into something, the better relationship I have to it. Um, and so I was typing for like school shit uh, and was like, I don't know, it just like felt bad. And I didn't want to do it. And I like let my shit get very messy. Um, and so when I put the effort in to actually like build a keyboard that felt right aesthetically and physically for me, it was one, a lot more comfortable to like physically use this keyboard but also like the more effort i have with something it makes me feel more connected to like the thing i'm physically doing um it's like a yeah. it's like a different form of like it's like um owning the tools like actually owning the tools that you use every day is the basic idea behind it right mm -hmm. like you can a, a totally fine power drill is fine but if you're going to be using a power drill all fucking day you want to use a power drill that actually like feels good and does the thing that you need it to. Um, mm -hmm. Which is why I like got into this is because like, I think we're often like encouraged to buy the most disposable thing that we can. Yep. And yeah. I kind of reject disposability in a lot of ways and would instead rather invest very specifically in an object that I have full control over and that I can like customize and also like maintain myself as opposed to something that's going to like break down in like two years and feels like shit the entire time just because like it is disposable and like good or like fine. Um, oh my God, sorry, my nose ring is bothering me. Ow. So to that, yes. Um, and that and that's but and then that does bring us to like the 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 waiting question to an extent like things should out like feel nice and uh like not, and genuinely like it's the the rocks class thing is is whatever but it's it's more like um 
I want to stay, like, I don't want to be heavy, but, like, you know, if I am taking it over the couch, for instance, or something, yeah. like, you know, having it stay planted on a surface would be nice, so that I can't just, like, easily, thoughtlessly, like, end up knocking it aside. Right. Um, knocking my beautiful custom keyboard to the floor. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, like, that is, the other thing is that, like, in terms of, so when we're looking at, like, for example, a ergodox or something um you can get an ergodox case so if you go to like falba tech or something um Callan, how unfortunate for rob that he looks to get into keyboards on the same day james hoffman releases his ranking of the best bean to cup coffee makers <laughs> so for example um friend of me um and uh kato dante uses these See these? These are yeah. this is a wooden case that oh, you can seat. Wait, sold, done. Yes, <laughs> matches the wood grain on my desk. <laughs> Perfect. Dying Sorry, cool. this this went from a light suggestion to a no, 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 no. That's perfectly complimentary. Well, good. unless a lot of out of stock there, Rob. I'm noticing a oh, lot of oh, this is oh, but there's exactly... also some sales, but there's also some hey, sales. Hey, 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 chill. We got this. We're good. This is an Ergodox standard versus an Infinity. Uh, no, these are Ergodox full hand lift. Uh, da, 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 da. We're entering my like weird, my weird zone. Where I... Okay, how about you feel about this oak case? Um, he likes it less. You like this less? That's fine. He does. You like the you like the you like the. The problem he... is so it's close enough that I think the contrast would actually drive me slowly and irret irretrievably mad. Also, so oh, like, if we can't get back. the if we can't get the bamboo. We got to go to a high contrast material. Like for example, acrylic with a steel plate. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Well, that's great. The acrylic. It, it already, it's already close to the thing that you have. Is similar. Yeah, yeah. In aesthetics to this. Um, these are just some examples. Uh, let's see what they've got. Uh, ergo cases, acrylic mat, uh, bamboo wood top, and acrylic body. Gamepad acrylic. What the fuck are you talking about, you perverts? Um, what? Wait. Oh, gamepad game pad cases are for left side only. Interesting. <laughs> what? Oh, what is that? Oh, is that what oh, that is? oh. That's for people who live in WASD mode, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> so part of the thing is, that, like, if we're looking for specific cases, we are going to have to do, I'm going to have to do the work of, like, actually sitting down and researching these for you, which is fine. I don't mind doing. Um... But yeah. Doing, so we've got. Have we decided on switches? Yes. What is... It sounds like Rob wanted the silent clears, which are what I have. Right. Yeah, it doesn't sound like there's a case to be made for the silent switches. Uh, we can pull that. Do you want to pull up the sound of those? Let's, yeah, let's just rule out that there's nothing in there that this doesn't sound better. Uh, but I, like, I'm predisposed to go with what I heard through your mic, Ren. Yeah. Okay. God. That's not bad. These are so fucking pingy. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> um, hmm. I'm not. What? I think I, I think friends are still better. I I'm inclined to say that as well. Yeah, no, I'm not a huge fan of silence, and that's the problem with silence. Yeah. Like silence are like technically have a better like tactile bump, um, but again, do fucking 
do sound like uh, they just sound like scratchy and mushy um and like pingy um yeah which is why um i'm i'm here's the thing about the, the the one thing i will note about my clears is that the tactile bump on clears is not super strong but you can make it stronger by lubing them less mm. i think that sounds like the way to go um like do i have any do i have any stock in here let me see uh by the way where do i where should i be looking to look at um ergodox like frames uh, so basically, you kind of just have to like Google because a lot. So the other thing to note is, um, a lot of keyboard stuff is not sold by manufacturers. Right. It is sold by like individuals because it's an enthusiast market. Oh no. <laughs> um, and so I can I can hunt down I can hunt down cases for you, um, yeah. off stream as we as we continue because there's one thing left that we really have to do. Yeah. Before we can before we can wrap yeah. this up, the, the the most important part almost it's time, keycaps. All Key right, cap time. And for this, I would like to take a step back over to my Pinterest. Okay. <laughs> to kind uh, of give give some feeling, different different vibes. Yeah, we're we're also probably going to hop over to the, um, uh, keyboards Reddit, which usually has some really nice stuff on it, but. There are, I will not show the lesbian mood board. Um, I will not expose yeah, my type like that. Um, uh, so for example, these gorgeous, like there's so much variation in terms of keycaps. Let's go to, let's just go to a, a hey, keycap website. Rob, do you want to be in the matrix? Uh... We're just gonna go to drop. I'm not a huge fan of drop. Let me just note this, but we're just gonna use we're just gonna use drop as a reference, okay, folks? Oh, you know what? Someone makes a good point. Someone makes a good fucking point. Different profiles, okay. This is worth noting. Because Rob, you're gonna have strong opinions about this. Keyboard profile. Keycap profile. Look at that. Angles. Here we go. There are uh, I know that Drop has a reputation for occasionally. I think it, is it Drop that occasionally has stuff that like is like borderline plagiarist uh, in terms of keycap designs. I think that Drop has a rep for occasionally like going over, or maybe someone else like steals from Drop. Regardless, um, here are yeah. There's there are some missing here. Um, <sighs> not Dvorak compatible. Extremely funny. Okay, you know this is actually the full list of, I believe. What everything. are those? All the keyboard shape pro, the key Keycap, shape profiles. Yes. So here we go. We'll just what? we'll just stick with these. Cherries, OEM, SA, and DSA. Solidarity. Stupid. <laughs> I'm uninstalling from Alive. <laughs> um. So, like for example, my keys mm -hmm. are not stacked. Do you know what I mean? No. Like, no? So basically, all of my keys are the same height. Yeah. So... What, what I've been using for years. Uh, well, yes. Okay, yes. Yours are, yes, because you are using those, like, round-ass fucking... Uh... The beautiful indentation. Um... <laughs> are, mo are most keyboards not the same height? No. Rob, hold your mm. keyboard sideways. Oh, no, Rob, Patrick, pick up your keyboard and like look at it oh. from the side. You don't even have to show it on stream, but I'm saying like I'm, I'm not, just I'm looking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess there is there there is subtle height differences. Yes. You yeah, you don't notice it from the top down. No. So what, cherry does it rise to the to the periphery, and then like is it a valley in the middle or vice versa? So yeah, is if you it... look at the the parsec that I'm currently sharing, you can see the different heights, which yeah. also means that you. Like switching like layers is a problem. Oh, shit. Yeah. So okay. so like so for example, I use DSA caps because DSA are consistent across the board, and I have Dvorak, so I had to alter the uh, position of all of my keys. So like, if you buy Qwerty cherries, 
they're going to be cherries like QWERTY with a standard like QWERTY layout. You know what I mean? Yeah. So your top row, what is supposed to be your top row is going to be the same height across the board. And if you move those, you will have different keys of different heights spread the fuck around. Yeah. Which is hell. Right. Um, <laughs> I believe... And we can avoid this by just like, we'll also have to get an ergo layout. Uh, maybe I'll just search. So basically, here are the basic types. I personally like DSA. Um, I'm a fan of DSA because it's, it's consistent. And also when you're dealing with something like an ergo, uh, it's like, I am a, like, it's, it's, it's even and comfortable. Yeah. Um, I, think, I think people can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure most ergos use DSA, right? Because one could almost see a a use case for like having a certain like rise or fall to the uh, to the overall like topography of the keyboard. Yes. Oh. Um. Yeah, or ergos and ortholinears use DSA a lot. Yeah. Um. I am. I am. I am firmly pro DSA personally. DSA is a mixed bag. Depends on your local chapter. <laughs> Says whatever glitz. Uh, and then I can actually look at different. Uh, oh, perfect. Mechanicalkeyboards.com slash shop. This will. This will. Oh no, I fucking hate this website. Look at what I just said. KBD fans is actually not bad. All right. Welcome to hell, Rob. Okay. <laughs> what do you, what aesthetic would you Here like to go for? Go. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, it's varied, Rob. Oh, it's extremely varied. All right. I need to get on this site. KBDefense.com? Yeah. All right. I'm uh, scrolling around, but I should be on this as well. Um, ooh. Hey, what's up? I have actually... Oh, I, like, I like this. They They open a really, like, chilly graphite toned keyboard uh on their header that i was like immediately like ooh, you look mean oh yeah someone suggested i filter out the ics uh, keycaps, I don't keycaps. Know. yeah the other thing is we do have to make sure that we do have um uh, ergodox support stock. yes uh, and also ergodox <laughs> support um oh so filter yeah the ones i linked are are old and gone and i'm sad i missed out on them <laughs> yeah all right, so I what wanted I, what to be I... in the matrix. Yeah. Availability in stock. All right, in stock. All right. Yeah. Uh, product type. Um, honestly, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna probably mostly look at DSA profile. See what we got in there. Oh, these are so. Pr oh my god. Oh, these are so cute. Oh wow, though these are. Yeah, no. A little cat. no, Patrick, don't even try. We're not doing this. Hold on. I was putting a story into the CMS. What, what do I need? Uh, what did you click away? Ooh, no. <laughs> These are very cute. I'll, 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 you, know, I'll, you know, will keyboards still exist for my daughter in a couple of years? If so, I'll just get Ren to make one of those for Jessica. That's the solution, Rob. Don't you don't worry about it. I won't put that on you. <sighs> These are so cute. I love oh these are adorable. I, listen, I'm pro I'm pro like Oh shit. I don't think that I'm going to do uh like cute keycaps again anytime yeah. soon. But um because I already uh, have my cute board. Green dye subbed one look faintly waypointish. Uh which one? Uh give us a link. Da, da, da. Give us a link, Gavna. Not that I should not that I want to be reminded of work when I'm just hanging out at home. It's a good but... color, though. Um, are this? I know this is uh, maybe offensive. It's to too blue. Who... It's too blue. Uh, yeah, it's not take... the tone. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. Keyboards extremely seriously, but um, are all of these wired? 
Uh, for the most part, yeah, but you can also make them wireless. Like I because can't... I was trying to think of like it, like I don't have like a personal use case for like a cute oh, uh, cutesy keyboard, but point, I do have though. a Steam Deck that occasionally needs a, would would be useful to have a keyboard attached to it via Bluetooth, and yeah. that one doesn't need to be a, like a fully functioning like you know like the, the kind of keyboard i'm used to writing on that could just be something that's like this just looks cool as shit and can have weird symbols and could be minimalist in a way that it's like look yeah. i just need to get some illicit files that pretend maybe allow you to play video <laughs> games from a different era onto this steam deck like uh how, how do i do that what kind of weird ass keyboard could i get connected that's my that's that's my use case yeah right? keychrons keychrons do wireless um they're wireless keychrons um, you can also just get a Bluetooth PCB, um, which is totally like easy to do. Uh, I think Bluetooth PCBs for things like um, uh, ergos are probably tough. Um, I would have to check on finding an ergo with a wireless PCB. Um, Look in this in this scenario, in no world am I doing this on my own. I would just I would give Ren a budget, and I was just like, like I need you. I, I and I know you'd enjoy this. Like you just come back. With something adorable and wonderful, here's 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 a spectrum we can go in, and I I know you would deliver something delightful Wait, for for this. Ren, yeah, what's up, sweetie? The, I just wanted to point out on that first page there that uh, very funny to me arrow key set. Uh, if you scroll up a little bit, the fucking PlayStation like oh, things. these very yeah. obviously. Oh, they light up. Is that what that is? Oh, They're backlit. They're shine good. through. Yeah, that's pretty that's all right. Very funny. That is very good. <laughs> um, oh, perfect. Amazing. Symbols from the second season of Lost in the Bunker. Put that on my keyboard. Is there an you F1 the style keyboard? Probably. Yes, I know. But I want the specific <laughs> order, Kato. <laughs> oh, you can hit that F1. We can spoil the show, but okay, Kato. Like, we hit ahead. that episode. We hit that episode. Oh. That's why I know. Okay. <laughs> Finding F1 type keycaps is going to be tough because. Huh. Because we we would have to be looking for the there's also the F the function one key is tough. Oh, is that almost that purple one almost like reminded me of because it had the little green accents. It was very Unit O one. Oh yeah, there's there's Ava keycaps. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There's like specific Ava branded ones, but that one just like was slightly uh, like a subdued version of that color tone. Oh my that's god, too, that's way these are, too no, these are that's these are way not too. great. There's 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 good ones. Let me see if I can find the good ones. Oh wait, that one that one. Uh, yeah, that, the, like, yep, I found that one. This yeah, right next to it had the the specific like uh, yeah. yeah, I love that shit. The yeah. little symbols See, that's and shit. Right. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. That's fucking sick. Yeah, no, <laughs> there there are a bunch of different like Ava. Like if there's like official. Oh, the... The fucking Ava like honeycomb there's, pattern on the space bar. There. There's also Look Ava switches. There's also like Ava branded switches somewhere. I forget I, where those I are. Mean... Uh, oh, here oh. it is. The Epo Maker is the. Oh, I know. These. This is not the one I was looking for. Where the fuck? The ones I'm looking for. <laughs> I found this rabbit hole. What? <laughs> what is oh this? God. What on earth? Patrick you key pills over here. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, so what Patrick has posted in our Discord is what's called a novelty key. Uh, well, and generally, it's called a novelty key. generally, you'll put a novelty key cap on, like, your escape button. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that's the only place you really put uh, a novelty. Um, wow. Oh, novelty <laughs> keys. Person went a different route. Novelty key caps are so fucking expensive. Oh, they put it over their H because it's a portal hell, to hell. Yeah. Hell. Um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, Kyle, hey, Kyle, we're going to, um, uh, let's see, how do I face this over here? So if I got a drop. Where, where, what do we, what do we hey, got here? Ren, real quick. Yeah, what's up? Yeah. I'm looking at some of these keys and like they have non-standard, non-English symbols on them. Mm -hmm. Does that mean like this I set will come printed with those? Or? Uh, yeah, which one did you talk? Can you give me an example? Yeah. So like I'm looking at like this is actually a really basic like clean look as yeah. far as the way the the key is shaped and the letter is presented, but also it has like uh, some uh, like does it have like... Hedagon on it? No, that's uh, is I that guess. hold on is that, that is fucking is that elvish? That's fucking elvish. 
By God, that's. I, I was like, yeah. I was like, that's, that's a lambda. Yeah. Yeah. That's, no. that's Elvish, dude. You sent me that's a keyboard with Elvish. elvish. So my question was, that king. means this thing comes with the fucking Elvish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't want. So yeah. I don't want the, the Elvish. Point. For some people, that is the point. That is the, the point. We can find a, a a set that looks like this that doesn't have fucking <laughs> Elvish on it. Jesus <laughs> Christ, I'm in physical pain. Yeah, it's worth <laughs> noting that a lot uh. of for reasons that are um well <sighs> some people legitimately do need um key caps with hiragana on them um sure however <laughs> <laughs> i will say oh god there's a bunch of elvish keyboard keycaps here what on earth i will say I love them that I love them Keyboard enthusiasts do have a bit of an orientalist bent. Is this why there's so many fucking Japanese keycaps? Uh huh. It's English pat also printed with hiragana is um because there's a weird orientalist bent to a lot of keyboards uh, and keyboard enthusiasts. Um Ooh. Which uh, the, the noble lotus on not a key. ideal. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. So wow, availability seems really limited. Is what I'm getting at here. When uh, looking at key ca- keyboards, yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, keycap sets are often difficult to hunt down, and that's why like finding like a vibe would be ideal okay. because if you find if i if you find a vibe you like i can hunt things down for okay. you i'm willing to do the hunting for you if you can give me a vibe that you're interested in or like a particular color aesthetic that you're interested in um i think there's also someone's uh keycaps with orabesh i believe that exists orabesh yeah get the orabesh keycaps fucking get the orabesh keycaps fucking... rob orabesh keycaps rob <laughs> The Orabesh keycaps, Rob. Shit, this. <laughs> show me, show me an Orabesh uh, key... fucking triangle. Orabesh uh, keycaps. Uh, Orabesh no, keycaps. That. that looks like that looks like trash. This Sorry, looks like trash. No, 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 like no, no. I agree. Like these these do not. These are not good. That is that is that that is like the keyboard that you buy at, as you leave that Disney hotel. Yeah. After no. like <laughs> after you spend five thousand dollars on your orders. <laughs> Uh, fuck. Uh, are these are. That oh my god. Oh my Wait, fucking what is god. Hold on. What is Look at the shift key. Nope. <laughs> what is? Hold on, I can't. I can't tell. It's kind of small on my end. Is that Cad Can Bane we... over the function key? If it is, that's great. <laughs> is it? Look at the helmets. Is this good? Is this good? This is, this, is, this is fucking t- <laughs> look at the fucking Yoda. Look at the fucking it's Yoda. Yoda. Oh, it's Yoda. It's not Cat Bane. I thought there was a hat for a second. It's just ears. <laughs> it's just his ears. Uh. Okay. Well, but the main keys on that might work, right? <laughs> oh my god! Wait, did you the mean? Main... Did y'all mean the space cadet? Because this is painful to me. Which one? Someone was like, "Look at the GMK cadets." Uh, and I'm looking at them, and it's, this is what you mean, and I don't uh, understand. I hate looking at this. I fucking despise looking at this. <laughs> so if we're if we're going back to okay, so genuinely, Kata's little intro the Matrix keycaps don't look bad. No, look. Um, I think I like. Think I like the I lower like, case I like, courier is a good aesthetic. <laughs> I like a little bit of grayscale. It's nice. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, that seems cool. Um, something was appealing about you know that first thing we saw, where it was like it was when you were showing me the split keyboard. Um, was that on my Pinterest? It was the image that sold me on the. It looked very. Oh, I know the image 80s, you're talking about. Like, this one. Yeah. Stuff like that isn't bad. Um, you mean the one that, the think... one I'm sending you right now? In Parsec, is this what you mean? Yes, yes. That doesn't look bad. Um, yeah. But yeah, the little inner the matrix like grayscale is not bad. Um, you can also die sub your own keycaps. No, we can't. Not right now. We can't. 
<laughs> don't suggest it, Kata. We don't have time. <laughs> no, have time. how do you feel about this, Kata? Sorry, not Kata, Rob. Uh, sorry, where am I looking? Sorry, let me uh, open parasite. the image in new tab. Yes, those. Okay, so you like these? Yeah, that's not bad. Um, okay. I can hunt those down for you. There's Scrum, also... We, we have links turned off, but send it to at waypoint and I'll... Rob, how do you feel about classic Whispering Mac Whispering. shit? Classic Mac shit? Yeah. Uh, I was never a Mac person that much, mm-hmm. but I do love the film Steve Jobs uh, <laughs> and its perfect structure, um, even though it does, of course, uh, whitewash and valorize uh, a really challenging individual um it was in many ways an abusive boss but still all right rob look over my screen I'm right now to it yeah i'm looking hmm it's got the uh, some that's cute oh this is this some that's cute useful. because it's not bad ergodox, ergodox zone sent o- this is sent over you by, can also uh, get some colors on there yeah I think that's probably that's a little bit more of a like a uh, Mac fan than than I am. I think. Thank you, Scrubby McDub. Let me see if for this. This is just like a list of different places that have Ergodox. Oh, there's the here's the icons. The many many options. That's not bad. That's not bad. Media icons, etc. Here's the Ergo kit. Um, just for example. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So these are specifically like for the shit custom shit controls. on Argos. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. There's the Alton yeah. command. Actually, I'm actually, I don't hate the way these look. Um, I'm a, I, I like these. Generally, the other good thing about Drop is that their shit is generally, and they will have Ergo versions. Um, so like these are their ergo icons for the for my personal my for my personal board, yeah. um, <laughs> the Astrala keys keycaps, um, which I am a very I remain a very big fan of. Uh, I think I Natalie am... does Natalie have cute have cool kids keycaps? I feel, I feel like Natalie has the cool kids. She's gotten a couple. She has a couple of, of sets. She posted about cool kids once. Yeah. So I have an aesthetic question for Cole. Look at this. Look at this Game Boy keycap. Ah, oh, it's gone now. <laughs> the reason I keep being like, well, maybe grayscale is the way to go is because it's so neutral. And I'm a little bit like, what if I just get tired of looking at like the same like shade all the time on like those other on those other keys? Some of these sets, it's like you're committing to a little accent uh, tone, and I'm like, or do I want to commit? Kato. <laughs> Rob yeah. acting like he's you... only going to have one keyboard. Kato, can like you do me film. a favor? <laughs> yeah, Could we'll, you we'll, go we'll... into Keeb chat and look for, or actually, can you just ask uh, Dante for a picture of his Ergo? Bad. Yeah. And if, if we can show it on stream. Uh, like that's a pretty blue, you know? Because I, I, think, I think that Dante's Ergo is exactly what we need to show Rob to, to kind Rob... of... Yeah, he, in he in theory, if you found the keyboard layout you liked, and yeah. the firmware you liked, and the setup, the 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 the, the wires are interchangeable. We don't right? just yeah, we don't. So you'd be just swapping out the aesthetic based on how you feel. Oh, that's so much decision making. You have to think about like what mood am I in? Yeah. Open the drawer. Yeah. Right, we can Ooh, keyboards. Right, time for nose ring to come. Man, back. if it were a wireless keyboard, that would totally obviate the need for the dog. The lap dog. Uh, honk, honk. Yeah. Oh, this is actually Rob. The uh, he obviously just poster actually. I think are very pretty. Yeah, like. It's a lot of blue. It's a lot of blue. It's, but it's a blue I like. I love. I do love Mm. matte. You know what I mean. I love a good matte color. (sighs) 
Are you humming the fucking? No, be. Yeah, <laughs> it's stuck in my head. Yeah, it is. What of it? Oh yeah, look at those wooden, wooden keycaps. Wooden keycaps. Look at yes, that. Look at that. Yes. Like, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. For a while, I was actually. Considering... It's a little too Scrabble. It's too Scrabble. For Fuck a while, that. I was actually considering, and this is how deep in the rabbit hole I was for a minute there. Um, I was thinking of making physically hand like like making my own case, um, like like carpent like through carpentry, uh, making my own case out of extremely extremely hard wood. Um, I was thinking about yeah. it extensively. Dante uh, said yes. Here's here's the image. Here's Perfect. the image. I'm dropping it into the Discord. Perfect. I hope it has aesthetic backgrounds. Dante's keyboard's great. That was that's his ergo. Yeah, he's got the dark wood on that. He do- oh, this is a different it, one than the last one I saw of his. This is the most recent. This is the most recent. Okay, I believe so. so yeah. So this is an example of. Mm. Uh huh. How do you feel about this? Well, it looks like it wants to skitter in ways I find upsetting. <laughs> It looks like it what? It wants to skitter. It does look like a little creature. <laughs> like, like look in at a, it. That's something in an Elden Ring dungeon that, off the. Oh, off the, the you mean the mat. you mean the legs that the like, legs like, tilt? It's you alive. Have those on there. Yeah. You you need that for the tilt. Those you are aesthetically upsetting. I'm with Rob on the on this one. Nah, I think they're cool. Nah, that's rare. Like How font? Dante's the one in the center the looks like it's going like a. It's like a uh, what's the uh, the crab thing in Half Life? Big uh, dog branded keeps. Yes, yes, they're big dogs. The the funny the funny <laughs> thing is, the funny thing is, this is a different keyboard than the last one I saw Dante have. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, <laughs> however, I have a, I do have a question. It yeah. looks like they're raised on the inside and they mm-hmm. fall on the outside. Because he just doesn't have the legs up on the outside. But that seems like again, like that's the tilt. A nice. That angle sounds That's the great. Tilt. Oh, That's the tilt. oh. That's the Woo. tilt, Rob. We need That's that. The tilt. We need that. Yeah. It, one thing that, that has tilt. gone, uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, unremarked in, in all of this is I have to imagine there is a bit of a learning curve in adjusting. To an ergo? Well, yes. maybe, this is ergonomically superior, but not as though you just slot your body in and go, Yep, time to just start typing. There's a little bit of muscle memory reworking, yes. That is true. Not just um, muscle memory, but I mean, literally, the orientation of your body is fundamentally shifting from decades of how you put your hands to use a keyboard. Like that, It's one thing to shift it slightly in like the Microsoft Ergo keyboard we were showing. Like I've played with one of those, but like, to physically put your hands on different yeah. parts of the keyboard is like... I yeah. don't understate, like, that's, I, 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 it, it, I can it imagine for a lot of people, a, that being a reason to never even touch this is, like, no, like, I, I'm here. It takes a sec to learn, but also it is a lot, I, legitimately, is this what you were looking for? very good for your shoulders. Well, uh, what'd you say, Also, Kata? like, uh, was this the one that you were thinking of? This is an older one. This is actually not the one I was thinking of. Wow. How many fucking no, keyboards he, Dante's going cut? through. Dante has, a, Dante has a lot of work. <laughs> Dante has a lot fucking, of work. The fucking stuff. blue blue beard of uh keyboard uh specialist. <laughs> listen, shout out to shout out listen, shout out Dante. Um yeah. uh, But Patrick, I, I do think like a lot of us just like we're also so used to accommodating ourselves to standardized solutions to things. Sure, yeah, yeah. I'm not, but we've I, never I, even I, experienced like a thing that's perfectly tailored. You know what I mean? And this is my yeah, this no, is my I'm, actual I'm take. This is my actual take regarding like most things is that like having a thing that is like actually bespoke fit for you is basically always going to be a better experience and you can also like take care of them. Oh, Dante, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Dante. Wait, um, where no, Dante, where where Dante put the space? This is what I dreaded. This is what I dreaded. Where is the space bar? Hey, Dante, where is your space bar? I actually don't know. 
This is exactly what I feared. This is an old one. This is also. Oh, uh, I bet, uh, that's ones. why he got rid of it. <laughs> Dante, I'm like, thinking Shit. those were not final. This bar. is not final. This is work in progress. One point five U keys on a <laughs> thumb so cluster. So this one just doesn't have a space bar. No, it's the on the thumb cluster. There are uh, one point five U keys. So those are what are one point five U's? Find this. Grab this. Um, oh, the insert and zero. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, insert and zero. Okay. So, okay. Uh, Dante, quick question: Do you have the um, do you have the uh, wood board after? It was like a it was like a medium wood tone. It had like orange orangeish keycaps on it. Do you know the ones I'm talking? Do you know the one I'm talking about? Sorry, Dante's in chat, and I can just actually ask him. Okay, whatever. That's fine. Um, Sorry that we've used your keyboards as examples. You just have very pretty keyboards that are that are good to use as examples for Rob. Um, uh, hey, I actually do have another important question though. Yeah. So the little legs that are making that thing look like it wants mm -hmm. to crawl around <laughs> and get up to the nonsense. Uh -huh. um, are there not that I'm against those, but are there uh, like I like the adjustability mm -hmm. there, but I am wondering if there's less obtrusive ways to get at that sort of tilt. Um, I probably, I mean, there are certain, what you're thinking of, Fred? this is not another, this document. is not what I'm thinking of. Wait, I will though. never, I will never Hold find on. the fucking picture. I that love I'm the muscle of. car aesthetics of this thing though. Okay. Well, here we go. Pulling up another Look board. at this. <laughs> oh my fucking God. All right. This was, I think, this is just a picture. Oh, this this Dante keyboard's got a V8. Okay, this is not a hood. this is not this a Dante not, board. Okay, got no, it. This just the Dante posted this this. For Dante, thank you for on. again. Thank you deeply again for letting us use these as examples. Um, yeah, I don't know when this was put, this was posted a while back. A absolute while, while king back. shit. Uh, looks like our video is or was. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. We're right good. Right. We're good. That, okay, that happens when I. I fucking love bragging what do you say? Um that happens when I pull the Discord window away, which I've been doing know. to like go through like cycle yep. windows. Um so what's going on in this th <laughs> Yeah. This is like, still I not do the love one that the thumb keys, them, but <laughs> the thumb keys are like the stripe you put on your mm -hmm. hood mm -hmm. of your oh sports my God. car. Yeah. They are. Yeah. It's I love America and cylinders. <laughs> Both equally. Yeah, of course not. I should have a pause button. Uh, Obviously, uh, it's not me. No, well, but I think that like you have seen, you've seen the yeah. you've seen the potential. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I would say like. Matte colors, good. So, how do you feel about other than the gloss on these? How do you feel about yeah. the dark wood legs and this general setup? I think it's a cool setup. I like the setup a lot. I love the. I love to make it look like they can run away at any point. <laughs> That's fun to me. <laughs> of course, setup, you're you're primarily using your left hand. While you're like using the, the the mouse in the center, and then you're, no, like, no, no, this is this is not. Yo, what's up? Okay, uh, shout out, shout out, Aiden, uh, the uh, the the fucking creator of the ethical hut. Um, uh, I made this bed. Now I have to shit in it. <laughs> Basically, what I'm starting to think about okay, <laughs> this decision to get a custom keyboard. <laughs> well, <laughs> one one of. One of the funniest things I've ever heard. Um, <laughs> friend of the show, Aiden. Um, God, I'm so fucking. Oh God, <laughs> I'm so fucking jealous of Dante's setup. Um, absolutely livid. Um, it's so it's so clean. It's Couldn't so be, it's so fucking clean. It's like oh, my God. desk is trash right now. If my hey, Rob, hold I, on. I don't believe I don't riser. believe this is a working setup. This is a pose shot. This is this, this is, is the, the like. Look at Dante, the nice how do you feel about the slander? Yeah, yeah. Dante, how do you this feel about for... the slander? 
Don yeah, like this Dante. is Dante's Bend photo is spread in Architectural Digest mm -hmm. to be like, yeah, this is just how I live my life. No fucking isn't. <laughs> Rob is offering to post a pic right now. The thing is, I have an extremely, I have an extremely clean Tweet desk. It, so I don't even know, don't even know why it. I'm like talking shit because I have a desk. Post that shit, Dante. Equally as, equally as clean as this. Get one. it out of here, Dante. You bet that that photo better have a fucking like newspaper from today <laughs> uh, next to it, or like I don't buy it. Okay, oh, like. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> okay, but actually, but it is a good, but it is a great example. Uh, so in this mode, um. <laughs> So is this like, what's well, the main device you, here? Uh, like, what like is everything push, linking into? You push away the yes. right one. I think it, the, these go. are Hi, two I'm different back. ones, right? Also, um, right. Yeah. The two, the two ones on the left and right are one thing. And then there's the numpad, which is its own thing, yeah. right? You can it's see its the own thing in the middle. Back, yeah. So you can just move that the fuck around wherever you want it to be. Nice. Yeah. Okay. But so in usage mode, you push back the right side when you're like gaming, yeah. right? Because you don't need that side. Yeah. You just put your mouse there. Yeah, that's the gaming. Like mode. That legitimately, yes. Yeah. So you can just like yes. move shit out of the way when you don't want it. Yeah, I love it. Uh, I think I think we committed to not having a numpad, so oh. the numpad would not. Dante, be in we there just uh, text me a link. Just like message me a link on Discord. Uh, uh, we can't see the chat. Uh, you can't post links in the chat. Oh, it's in. Is it in keep chat? Uh, yeah. So, I think we have to commit to not having the numpad. Thank you, darling. That's my. That's my thought. Yes. But we always add that later. But we want that knob somewhere. No, Rob, I regret to up. inform you. Please, please look at at the at this at the parsec. Well, uh, you're, you're you're away at the moment. Oh, I'm away on Parsec. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The stream doing something else right now. I'm not. I'm just li literally looking. Oh wow, at... the lighting is different in that picture. Yeah, there see, we go. Yeah. That is that is Dante's. De you can see. That is Dante's life. You can see oh, the wave oh, the chat, chat in the bottom right. Yeah. Shit. That's <laughs> that is this is how Dante lives his fucking life. How did he life. Photoshop this this quickly? This is how Dante <laughs> No, 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 no. I will I will stand I will stand by Dante in this moment. I This is how this motherfucker lives his life. This is where we're all trying to get to. Dante's shit is like put, like like visibly as a desk space put so, together. Hold on. How is this ergonomic? Putting a little put, holding the mouse against your heart? Like <laughs> no. Well because well you're not using the mouse most of the time especially when you're writing. How often are you clicking on shit when you're writing, Rob? Constantly, because I don't want to write. Okay, well, well absolutely. Like a... How do I how do I scroll between my multitude of tabs? Yeah, in this world, in this world, like the world in which I also just also also also, also pause 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 straight. pause. This is I this is a this Rob pull out the fucking lap dog. Pull, pull out the lap dog. Let me see. Let me see the lap dog. What you want to see peak performance see the, again? Fine. See. Be my guest. All right. All right, Rob. You see how much fucking. You see how much fucking room you got on there. You oh, can put that mouse fucking Jesus anywhere. Christ. A mouse on the lap dog. A mouse and a fucking ergo on the lap dog. You have infinite oh. fucking space. You have infinite space on oh there. God. On the lap oh, dog. Oh, so yeah, yeah. See what I'm saying, Rob? Mm. Hey Dante, thanks. Thanks for letting teaching me about control tab for tabs on chrome what the fuck i did not know that did that oh shit that works on firefox too <laughs> what is this what are you talking about control tab you can control tab while I, you're I, oh my fucking fuck. god dante what the fuck this is life changing what the fuck? Choom, choom, choom. i can't stop oh my god i started doing it can now go, <laughs> can you go the other way can you go the other way is there oh that's a great question how do i reverse control tab I wanna go, what if I wanna shift go control add shift, shift. Tab. control shift control tab. shift tab oh, let's go oh, let's go shit. let's go just everything i'm going so fast oh my god Shoom. Shoom. oh my god Shoom. do you know this Shoom. Okay, we're probably giving people massive headaches now. I, I know, I think I just did, gave myself massive headaches. Uh, sorry about that, I folks. Know. This is going to change my this life. This is legitimately life-changing. That's amazing. I have so many tabs, and I always want to be like, wait, go to the one next door. 
but I run out of numbers. So I, I would like to. Nine. I'd like to note one thing. I'd like to. I'd like to note one thing. I am personally elevating Dante from a friend of the site to a hero of the site. <laughs> <laughs> You've changed how we work now. <laughs> yeah, Dante, Dante now a hero of the site. First hero of the site, Dante Douglas. Um, Dedicated key for tab scrolling macros. There we go. I like I like where your mind's at, Mike. <laughs> oh my okay. god. Oh Jesus, Jesus <laughs> Christ! We've all I feel like we've all learned so much today. We did. We did. Patrick looks like he's about to turn to ash live, live on, live on stream. How are you doing, you tarnished? I'm good. I, I well, you know, I found, I found a game that made me stop playing Elden Ring for 48 hours. So oh? briefly untarnished. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, it popped up. Talk about it. Pop. That game was Sid Meier's Gettysburg. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, I'm going to well, uninstall I mean, myself from a live. I, I am thinking about Sid Meier's Gettysburg, but in a different context. Uh, okay, we're, so I we've think... We've on most of the things, right? We just need... We've done we everything. Just need to, we'll, have to commit, we'll have to commit to... Specifics. Yeah. Like a frame. Do we, ever fig do we ever figure out the knob? Oh, yeah, where's the knob going to go? We can put that. We can put that on your numpad. Your external numpad. That's a so we are going to do the external numpad. Yes, I think that's right, reasonable. Gonna, I think that's reasonable. <laughs> Rewind from five minutes ago. So we're not doing the <laughs> numpad. We're not going to order that's that. That's not. Five, five minutes later. So yeah, we're going to put. The, I we're gonna put the... literally, I literally fucking have one. I literally <laughs> fucking have one sitting. I have three sitting on my desk. One of those can go to Rob. I've got three. Yeah. Perfect. Beautiful. I'm told to check. I've been told to check a certain chat. Uh, keep uh, so yeah no we've already don't worry aiden we've already gotten rob into custom macro pads don't worry we've macro pads yeah we've um we're already in there don't worry i've got mine sitting next to me look but at here, that one though zoom in on that this yeah, this one's pretty uh oh aiden i forgot how fucking pretty your whole setup is um aiden has a better version of uh, the setup what is that is that a is that a fucking Arduino? Yeah, at the top of that macro pad. Mm -hmm. So I can actually, I can. Can you? I can oh, pull. Oh, my... look, it's got a little pin diagram too. Pin shit is oh, so two pretty. knobs. Um, two knobs. So like, oh, I have a my um, I got the tidbit. Um, for those of you who are familiar, um, I'll hold this up. I've got two of these, and one of them can very easily go to Rob's acne. Um, ugh, fuck, I dropped it. Oh, my knob. Oh, fuck, I dropped my knob. God damn it. Um, so, yeah. Um, God. That's Wait. Pretty fucking Do the knobs nice. just fall off? Do they do that? No, I just didn't have mine secured with a screw. Oh, oh. man, new knob dropped. Um, <laughs> new knob just dropped. Uh, Damn. Photoshop tasks. Yeah, they're they're great for Photoshop. Um, the that tracks the pitch that I have on this for like editing and like like legitimately rotating with knobs. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent for rotating an object. For fucking ugh, the power of a good knob. Uh, astounding. I stand by what I just said. Um. The three button macro pad is control C X V. That's actually really excellent. Oh, this is such a this is such a pretty board. Um, Hi Mina. That was Mina, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Amazing. What do you wait, is that Arduino necessary for a macro pad to work or is that just extra? Is that what are you using that for? Is that just to run little things? <laughs> I, I assume. I assume the Arduino is often used as a microprocessor for okay. for your board. So, like for the for the thing itself. Okay. So, like for example, the one I have also has, I believe, an Ar is also I believe Arduino based. Um. Yeah, it's the brains of the pad. So, like, I it have this okay. one. I believe is Arduino based. Uh, my Adafruit micro. Um, so obviously only an asshole would want this, but do they make like brushed steel looking er Ergodox uh, keyboard frames? Brushed steel? Yeah. Uh, let me see. 
Rushed metal. Uh, yeah, are you looking for metal. cases or frames? Just say uh, gunmetal. Just say gunmetal. You just say gunmetal, Rob. It's okay. <laughs> you can just say gunmetal. It's okay, Rob. You can just say gunmetal. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. But gunmetal is also like a particular shade. Sometimes you want, like, you know, you can brush a lot, a lot of different steels. That's true. That's true. Um. Trying to find an old oh video video design. Thing. I bet someone makes a fucking steel, steel case, case for an Arctic box. box. Yeah. yeah, that's the yeah. that's the thing is that like there's someone some, who goes hard. There's some fucking pervert who will make literally God anything you want. <sighs> I, I think I, the wood might be the way to go. The wood might be the way. There's also there is. Did somebody actually release this aluminum Argadox case? This actually happened. The wood in the one this the the one that's got got the hot rod keys that we were talking about mm -hmm. earlier, that wood would match. Is that like an oak? It would match the uh the carver speakers pretty well when they show back up. As you can see behind me. Right. Well, Dream can't see, but I can. When they return from Florida. Them, Rob. Oh, God. Okay. There we go. I, I feel like there's the pro the danger of doing something like this, you expose your preferences. You know, you show a little bit of yourself. Stained bamboo. I mean, it's true. Like, I have Can to you get the bamboo and then stain it after the fact. Yeah. Get it the right color you want. Also, yeah. Hey, Rob. Hey, Rob. Yeah. How you feel about how you feel about desk mats? The desk mat really the desk mat completes the, the desk mat completes it. <laughs> desk mat completes it. Not sure we have enough time for Rob to figure out which desk mat he would Yeah, that's a huge <laughs> like, that's talk a about totally like recasting the room. Like when Rob was saying he's being vulnerable by like relaying his preferences, I feel like the desk mat would be the so most vulnerable. Here's let me show you the desk mat that I've got going on, because I do actually really like this one a lot. Royal. I do need to get a desk mat when I eventually mount these new monitors. Pretty nice, right? For it. It's that pretty is cool. cool. This is my desk mat, and my idea is once I love to have yes. a skill tree staring me once, in the face. Once night. I have uh, the thing that I really am really excited to do with this is to um, get my ergo and then do a black, white, and gold uh, ergo. Um, and then put that match the mat. to match the desk mat. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. I also have the other desk mat I have, um, which is current. I need to wash it really badly. Um, always. Yes. Aiden is correct. Always get a dark desk mat. Never get a light <laughs> desk mat. You will fucking regret it. Thank God. A Middle Earth desk mat. Like, do not as pretty oh as my God. as pretty as the Patrick. ash gold white desk mat is, which is just beautiful. It's a it's a beautiful desk That's mat. Nice. Yeah. Do not fucking get it. You you, how do you, you can't wash that, can you? What will you, happen if you throw it in the laundry? You can wash a desk mat, but you can't wash one of these motherfuckers. The second you get literally anything on it, it is fucking ruined. Done. It's um. Gone. Which is why you get the you get the you can also get the purple one, which is very pretty. The Ooh. purple and uh, gold one actually matches my current board. Um, it's extremely. Okay. Uh, you have to open this image that uh, Patrick sent. Oh, Patrick now. sent me an image. Okay. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry, Patrick. This is uh, the Rob... looking at desk mats now. Yeah, the Rob Core desk mat. Oh my God, this is Rob Core. What, what? What? When did I become Middle Middle Earth guy? When you said, <laughs> look at these keycaps with Elvish script on them. I was also, asking about, should I get them without the Elvish script? Also, 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 hey, also let me, let me defend, let, Rob, let, Rob let, let, me his let me defend Rob's I'm acne. I'm just saying. No, 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 no. I'm going to defend Rob's acne. A desk mat with a nice map on it is very Rob's acne core and would be nice. Yeah. Oh, no, exactly. believe me, I'm over here in my tabs <laughs> trying to find admiralty maps. Uh, turns out they yeah. don't make those. Um, Aiden says he wants to commission me for a Waypoint Plus desk mat. Motherfucker, her name is Renata <laughs> Price. That is who wants to commission you for a Waypoint Plus desk mat. There are websites that let you like pick images to print on desk mats, too, if you want mm. to do that route. That exists on the internet. 
you can pick a good if you have a high quality image oh, of a good shit. map somewhere. No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Rob. Let me let me. Can I see the can I see the dust mats that you're doing that you're doing right now? Can I can uh, I can I see some of these? No. I want to see what Rob's preference. Okay. <laughs> no. Well. Not gonna share with the. Stream. I wanted to let Rob speak, but Rob <laughs> refuses to speak. He sits in silence. Well, I didn't find good ones. Uh, well. Didn't find that's ones never, that he would that's endorse. That's never stopped us. <laughs> However, I am now looking up for a nice high res image of the Dishonored world map. <laughs> okay. Yes. Sicko's voice. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Size yes. large. <laughs> oh yeah, you gotta have the Pandisian continent on there, or else what are we doing? Okay, well, if you found that, you have to send it now. Does that exist already? Uh, yeah. Well, oh, designer world map desk map. That's a great question. Uh, yeah, yeah. Has someone done this work already for you? No, it, <laughs> they have not. They have not. Damn. Yeah. So all, all we're just gonna have to work from this image, and it doesn't look like the right form factor, unfortunately. Um. Oh yeah, you're you're gonna have to cut off. It'll probably be the lower lower uh and obviously you know that the image. projection is all fucked up but you can get the lower three quarters of this image on to a desk mat format size you know yeah oh wait oh, holy shit wait huh that keyboard that was like it's blue it's you know kind of mad how do we feel about that right mm -hmm. so if we find the map of karnaka <laughs> yes. Yes. It's kind of a. Well, 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 I'll just show you. I'll yeah, just show yeah. you. Let, let, let us let us see. Uh, Take us to your mind on. palace, Rob. Take us into your mind palace. Hold on, this is fandom. That, that video has nothing to do with what I want. There we go. Ah, oh. ah, oh, yeah. Oh wow! Look at that. Old timey, but also one of my favorite games. Just imagine that complimenting those beautiful white and blue keycaps. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Oh, but then it would have. But then it would be so much gamer shit. Are you or are you not a gamer, Rob? <laughs> Are you are you not a gamer? For all Rob? those times that Rob is inviting people into his home that he'd be embarrassed to admit that he's a gamer? Like what are the how, yeah, how many people, people, how many people it's to myself? Oh, it's to myself. Rob is terrified. I would of have himself. to look at it and like just accept. Don't show like, him the cast iron now. keyboard. Pardon? Hey hey, hey, uh Aiden, can you uh message me a picture of the cast iron keyboard? Cast you feel about cast iron? That's too heavy, unless it's like cast iron aesthetic, obviously, which, you know. Oh my god. Thank you, darling. The skillet, the first cast iron keyboard. What is happening in this chat? <laughs> oh, shit. Yes. I don't know if this is it. This might be it, though. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. That's, that's actually clean, though. It's just the outer edge, right? Oh, that's yeah, Ben. And you know, I would know that there's that that like brass underneath. Right. Right. Which I'm okay with. Which I'm okay with. <laughs> Do they make those in the Ergodox form factor? <laughs> Cast iron Ergodox. Let's see. This is hell. Oh God. No, it doesn't look like it, unfortunately. Do we have any talented metallurgists who are not busy in the next week? <laughs> yeah, do we have any people who, who can do this in a way? Here's the thing. I have, yeah. I have succeeded. Thank you, Aiden. I have succeeded in my ultimate goal of, of setting Rob down this path. And now I can take my hands, now I can take my hands off the wheel. Yeah. Listen, I've been. For I was. Little, I was. I was. I was pushing Rob on this bicycle. I was pushing Rob on this bicycle, and I've let go, and he didn't even notice. And now he's just <laughs> riding his bike down the street. 
<laughs> Look at him go, everyone. Look at him go. The wind is in his hair. Uh... All right. So I, but his I need to like full. pin down what keycaps and what like case I want, like ASAP. Yeah. Well, yes. Yeah. Because we need like the ship. We're up against it now. The ship yeah. Why are we up are, against it, Patrick? Are important. Why oh, are we up against well, it, Patrick? Next week, uh, the gang. And the gang, sometimes we say the gang and it doesn't include everyone. This time it does include everyone. In fact, this this gang specific trip was organized around the fact that Natalie Watson will be in New York and all of us are going to be in New York. And we're we're finally going to that the Waypoint Plus funded many uh, expensive uh, video equipment that we purchased last fall that is still not complete because of the supply constraints that continue to ravage our planet. Uh we're all getting together to do uh, one real day of all day streaming uh, and then one test day in which we'll be doing. Only thing we are promising stuff. you is the Saturday. We're prom what we're promising is on Friday we'll be in the office flipping a stream on and off and testing equipment. Um, Saturday is the stream in which that equipment should all uh, work. But uh, yeah, we're going to do uh, kind of a mini save point. Uh, we're still nailing down all the details on, on on that front, but you know you can expect something like we've done. We've done these day ones, uh, day long streams in in the past. Um, they've been a lot of fun, um, and so uh, yeah, it's been a while since we've done one in person. This will basically butt up against a year uh, since we were all together for E3 and launching Waypoint Plus, which is wild that we're approaching the better part of a year. But um, We'll have Ren with us. We'll have Natalie. We'll have Rob. We'll have myself. We'll have Kato. We'll all be in person uh, doing a bunch of really fun stuff. I'm the very official Saturday, stream the will be six. Yes. next And as long as those COVID tests keep coming back negative, <laughs> ain't nothing going to derail this train. Yeah. Let's hope Definitely no chance I end up quarantining at a, a hotel cold. in Brooklyn. Oh, you would be so upset. It would be so. I, I would mean, be. Uh, no, I'd be furious. I wouldn't have my shit. Yeah, you'll be the, buildings, the room's not that nice. Well, maybe this maybe Ren could finish that keyboard and deliver it to you. No, 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 no. Let me be real. Let me be real clear. Uh -oh. Let me be real fucking clear about what's going to be happening during that stream. Wait, you're not just going to build me a keyboard? No. We're, we have a camera set up that will be pointed at a table and chair mm -hmm. where, through the duration of this stream, people. We'll be will be tagging in to build that keyboard. This is going to be a communal effort between colleagues and between friends. Wait. Beginning of the beginning of Saturday, I am going to teach Rob how to build a keyboard, and then as the day goes on, we will have a keyboard cam that myself, Rob, and Natalie will be working on over the course of the day. Aren't the keys tiny? Mm-hmm. We can mm -hmm. do this. We have the technology. We have the technology. We have many cameras. And one of them many will, will, will be pointed at a desk where someone is building a keyboard for most of the day. One of them specifically can pan, tilt, and zoom. A PTZ, if you will. It's, it's, so, it's, I got to pin down our options list here. Kind of like oh, tonight, weird. like you, you have yeah. like a really yeah. sharp... okay. Also, because right. otherwise, what's so, going to happen is you're going to be picking options based on their shipping times, not based on your aesthetic preferences. Oh, I think we're already in that. I think we're already in that world. Probably, yeah. probably. Like, it's already going to constrain you. Yes, that's for sure. Yeah, we're in we're in the shortage economy now. Like that's it. Like we will look. We will build something. Yeah, we will build something. Will be built. There will be a the keyboard, keyboard built. Will be built. Yeah. Um, uh, whether it is all, all everything we have culminated in this particular stream, you know, to be determined. But uh, we, a keyboard will be built on Saturday the twenty sixth. Now, mm -hmm. I said some things that were harsh. I implied some things about Dante. <laughs> thank you, thank you for this public apology to hear of the site Dante. Douglas. Well, I don't, don't, don't go, don't. I wouldn't presume too much yet, Ren. No, I mean obviously. I was wrong to suggest those things. I was wrong to suggest that like Dante wasn't walking the walk. Obviously uh, Dante is. Um, I would also love uh, some resources about where I can find uh, keyboard <laughs> caps, ergodox cases. Um, and obviously having seen the beautiful work that Dante and our friend Ariel 
uh, have done, I would I would be honored if they if they shared with me those resources, um, and just didn't remember what I said or implied uh, earlier in the show because I didn't, and who, really who does? Not the internet. We don't remember these things. <laughs> Uh oh, Ariel, Ariel, Rob, your DMs are gonna be nasty. Uh, what have I done? <laughs> oh God. Well, um, anyway, I think mean, I think we nailed it. Uh, so it's gonna be a split keyboard. There's gonna be a numpad involved. Is the numpad the same as macro pad? Is that a totally yes, different animal? They are the same thing. They are the same. Okay. Thing. Okay. So it's gonna be like four little things skittering around my desktop. It'll be th- there'll be three things, including. A mouse. Sorry, four things, including a mouse. Okay. One of which uh, you can just take off. Again, you have the power to just remove one when you don't want it. Just amazing. Yeah. We're not we're not fucking with wireless here. I would rather not. Yeah. <laughs> it feels like that's probably too much. Even though, of course, that would completely shatter the dependence on the lap yeah. dog. Because um, the lap dog's advantage is it has this robust wire that c- connects it, but like... We don't need to do that. I, the, I, I think, I think that wireless is going to, we can also, here's the thing. If we do, if we do, if we do wired, we can add, we can add another step to this whole fucking process, which is making custom cables, which is, which is making custom oh. USB cables. <laughs> well, hold on. Yeah. Then. Cause I've got, yeah. cause I've got one of those sitting on the other side of the room. I have yeah. I have a custom coiled USB cable that I was building sitting on the other side of the room. We can we can solder those together. We can we can make all the yeah. USB contacts. We can coil them on stream. It'll be very pretty. That sounds like a lot, but I'm I'm down for anything. Yes. Sicko's voice. Yes, yes. All right. Well, I think that's I think that's a good start. Um we should probably leave it there for today. I'm sure that I've got a lot of research to do. Uh, I'm sure Patrick also has some. Patrick's gonna be like creating a little Pinterest account to just like you know populate with ideas for me because Patrick is invested in this now. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I, so I am invested for you. You Chicago tell me. Bears keyboards. You're gonna get um, shit ghosting in keycap form. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna show up with a bag of stuff just for Rob. Look at what I got for you, Rob. <laughs> oh my god. Very exciting. You can just replace the L key with like a little Chicago Bears icon. Do the rest of y'all use Pinterest? You know where that L is. Do the rest mm-hmm. of y'all actually use Pinterest? No. No? No. no? no. Am I the only one? I think so. Wow. I've tried, to, I've tried to condense everything in my life onto Evernote. This is anti-feminism. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right. Well... With that note, gamers. Okay, there's there's one request that I will that I will hear. This is the lesbian Pinterest for all you fuckers asking. It's literally just a. It's literally just forty four pictures of girls I think are pretty. You fuckers. Oh, it's. I'm a lesbian with a type, but the with a type is unspoken. The type is very unspoken? obvious. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm saying not not the label at the top, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, gamers. We have fun here. And with this, we are done with our fun for the day. We will see you, I think, tomorrow, right? Not tomorrow. Not tomorrow? Not, okay. Not, 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 not currently. Okay. No, next no, week. Not next tomorrow. stream not tomorrow. is. We are recording tomorrow. We're recording. But Thursday. Wait, but send in, send in your questions. We should actually say that. If people are listening and have questions about either We Know the Devil or Heaven Will Be Mine, we'll be recording that podcast tomorrow afternoon. So you can send those in at gaming at vice.com with question in the headline and we'll try to try to maybe get to some of those or at least hit those topics while we discuss so <laughs> yeah i think right. then yeah thursday the, the what tunic maybe yeah i think so yeah I think yeah we're gonna yeah we're gonna do that i'll have a that game looks real cute oh and then yeah, friday yeah. don't forget about friday we're going back into GTFO. Oh God, right. We are going back into GTFO. We're going to get to the bottom of that labyrinth of horrors. We're going to figure out how to use DOS again. 
we might make Patrick play it again, or we might <laughs> tag in someone else <laughs> with more patience. Yo, who could say Yo, what? Who could say what out. Patrick's rooting for? Not, you know, I you know I'm I'm neutral out here. Alrighty. Well, now that we set our schedule for the week, Godspeed, gamers. Send me your cool keycaps. <laughs>